Bookmark this website in read.com to update the latest novels. Chapter 4001 3000 Dragon Power in read.com How can it be happening so quickly? Long Chen was startled along with the rest. This jade tablet is the Vermilion Bird Empire's karmic luck talisman, and I've had it on me ever since I was born. When I was reunited with my mother again, she told me its origins. It is connected to the Vermilion Bird Empire's fate grand formation, so for it to crack now means that a great battle has already started. Hearing this, Zhu Yunwen and the others were shocked and enraged. Could it be that the eight empires had long since been prepared for this? As soon as their probing was done, they directly launched into war. All of a sudden, everyone became like panicked ants. Even the always unflustered Chu Yunwen felt powerless. There was sweat dripping down his forehead. Everyone, don't panic. It's not as dire as you're thinking. In a war between empires, besieging the cities is actually not as important as besieging the people's hearts, said Long Chen calmly. Big brother, what does that mean? asked Zhu Yifeng. Brother Long is saying that until they have no other choice, they will not be throwing themselves to death. They don't want to lose their people either. For them, to launch their attack so quickly is most likely to create a tense atmosphere over the empire. It's an attack on the commoners' hearts, said Zhu Yunwen. Long Chen nodded. The crown prince truly did see a bit further than the others. Long Chen then said, Yes, that is what they are most likely doing. The Philosopher Institute had so many of their people bought by the other empires. So, after spending so much energy and time plotting, there's no way that their plan is just an all-out assault. They must have disseminated rumors unfavorable to the Vermilion Bird Empire while over-exaggerating the benefits and reputations of the other empires. After so many years of brainwashing, along with the scholars pushing them on, quite a few people in the empire already look forward to the coming of the other empires. They are dissatisfied with the Vermilion Bird Empire and hope for the other empires to rule over them, thinking that they can live better lives that way. That's why, at this time, when the eight empires apply pressure at the border, the true attack is already inside the Vermilion Bird Empire. Those traitors will come out and start spreading information that hurts the Vermilion Bird Empire, hoping for an armed rebellion inside the empire. Those bastards! They really deserve death. Why was our imperial father so foolish as to let those idiot scholars do as they please? Everyone was enraged when they heard this deduction from Long Chen. They clenched their teeth furiously. You are disrespecting his majesty, your own father. Do you not want your life any more? Part Zhu Yunwen. The prince, who spoke instantly, turned pale after hearing that. He had only said it due to his anger overwhelming him. However, now that he had said it, there was no taking it back. Everyone this never happened, understood? Don't bring it up again. To anyone, ordered Zhu Yunwen coldly. Everyone hastily nodded, and that prince was extremely grateful, especially to the crown prince. The latter was using his special status to help this prince cover up his mistake. Otherwise, if this matter was learned by the emperor, this prince would definitely be punished. The crown prince would also be punished for attempting to cover things up. Long Chen smiled and said, You did speak wrongly. The emperor is no fool. His intelligence isn't something that you can imagine, as everything done to the Philosopher Institute was part of his plans. Also, everything that you see now is still fully under control. This internal discord, this spreading of rumors, ultimately won't be able to cause any major problem. After all, those traitors are never the main force of the Empire. The core forces of the Empire are still firmly within the hands of the royal family, while the people being swayed are just random rabbles. They aren't even willing to work for the Empire, but blame the Empire for not giving them better opportunities. Rather than striving to climb, 
they complain that others succeed through dishonest means thinking that their poverty is due to rich people stealing their wealth their negative energy spreads easily and the empire decided to allow them to spread their poison in order to numb their enemies making the latter think that the empire's people are no longer stable in truth even if all those people were to revolt they would be unable to shake the empire's foundation if my guess is correct this should be the start of the empire's gamble while the other side plays mental warfare the vermilion bird empire pretends to be thrown into disorder but on the inside there are no big waves mental warfare requires time and the right rhythm so you don't need to be panicked just yet we will continue to work hard at pushing forward and we will still be on time this deduction mostly settled their frantic emotions and they couldn't help feeling ashamed of themselves despite being the same age long chen could see far further than them it was like they were just children who didn't know anything but if we just let there be so much chaos how will we rein them in you kyanks who couldn't help frowning rein them in naturally through simple brute force when the empire bears its fangs it doesn't matter who is right or wrong anyone who raises their blade against the empire is the empire's enemy and they must be killed there will be no laws or justice to protect them there will only be traitors who need to be slain both the invaders and the traitors will all be slain it is a typical case of the waves washing away the sand leaving only the gold after this war is over the vermilion bird empire will be more unified stronger than ever said long chen hearing this these experts were shaken if that was true the population of the empire would probably enter a state of steep decline it was unknown just how many people would be killed by their foolishness however from the viewpoint of the empire if a person was disloyal to the empire and joined their enemies that was no different from raising a blade against the empire such a person was truly not worthy of pity let's go we'll pick up the pace so we can get out as early as possible otherwise the main characters on the battlefield won't be us said long chen yes everyone nodded fervently long chen was now their mental pillar and they all listened to him furthermore long chen had also found that while these princes and princesses often fought against each other they all had bottom lines that they didn't cross having their own respect for themselves also when the empire was truly in danger they were exceptionally unified just that one point was enough for long chen to admire the way yu xiaoyan and the imperial family raised their children it could be considered quite impressive in some regards according to their original plan they would have stayed here another day to rest however everyone was in a rush and they were once more willing to take the risk thus they directly charged through the third gate when they entered the third gate they felt like they were at the heart of a tornado its wild power tearing at them from all directions quite a few of them had the flesh ripped from their bodies however they were mentally prepared so they had all activated their vermilion bird bloodline forming a barrier that just barely allowed them to endure the impact on the first level the pressure came from above on the second level it came from in front and now on the third level it came from all directions long chen had many heavy pieces of equipment on him but he directly tore through the pressure of this place all the way to the tenth step when long chen reached the ninth step he found that the pressure had reached two hundred and ninety dragon power however the moment he stepped onto the tenth step his body shook and a kind of violent power almost flattened him to the ground the jade plate he had to measure the pressure shattered this is it long chen looked at the step in front of him and was filled with disbelief three thousand dragon power 
I think you should take a look at Inread, Com Chapter 4002, First Step of the Dragon Soul Body Forging Art. The jade plate Long Chen was holding was a pressure testing tool that Zhu Yunwen had given him. Zhu Yunwen had told him that this tool's limit was 3,000 dragon power, and Long Chen had been using it to get an accurate reading of the pressure as he scouted ahead in order to prevent any accidents. Of everyone present, only Zhu Yunwen possessed such a tool. It was given to him by Yu Zioya, and it was the only one that they had. Now that it was destroyed, it meant that the pressure here had exceeded 3,000 dragon power, causing Long Chen to be filled with shock. No wonder I almost broke my bones coming here. In that instant, Long Chen felt as though a mountain had come crashing down upon him, nearly causing him to cough up blood. Luckily, he had swiftly retreated to avoid any potential injuries. It seems that this part must be passed with everyone's combined forces. We can only get through by sharing the pressure together. This trial squeezes out a person's potential to the limit while also testing their ability to work together. After scouting this step, Long Chen understood the meaning of this trial. With this terrifying pressure, no one would be able to pass through, and they had no choice but to work with others to resist this pressure. Furthermore, if their cooperation was flawed, quite a few people would be crushed to death. HMPH, I'm trying it. Golden Dragon Battle Armor As golden dragon scales covered Long Chen's body, a dragon cry rang out, and he stepped forward. Boop! The moment Long Chen's foot touched, that step, an explosive sound reverberated and countless images of the vermilion bird materialized. These spectral images pressed down on Long Chen, surrounding him from all sides. Long Chen's bones creaked and cracked under the immense pressure. It felt as if the weight of stars was crushing him. In less than half a breath's time, a bit of blood began to flow out of his nose, eyes, and ears. Long Chen's head became murky. However, just as he was about to pass out, he threw himself back. Like a shooting star flying out of that step, he smashed into the ground, causing sparks to fly about as he bounced further back. What's that sound? Ju Yifind and the others were still cultivating at the first step when they felt the world shake. After that, they saw something flying toward them. Just then, a golden thing flew over their heads like a whistling tempest. Boot. Finally, they saw Long Chen's feet slam down on the gate. It was the same gate that none of them could even shake with all their combined power. Yet Long Chen managed to create a dent in it. Following that, Long Chen slowly slid down like a pancake thrown against a wall. The descent was accompanied by a terrible, resonating sound echoing through the surroundings. Long Chen. Yu Qingxuan hastily ran over to him. Only then did the others react and surge forward. When Long Chen peeled himself off of the gate, they were shocked to see that his golden scales were shattered, and he looked like he had been badly beaten. His appearance was horrifying. I... I'm fine. It took Long Chen a while before he managed to breathe normally. He then started healing. Fortunately, his physical body was very powerful and could easily heal this kind of injury. With the few Sang trees and moon trees in the primal chaos space, he had plenty of life energy to draw on, so he didn't need to worry about these kinds of injuries. Under everyone's questioning, Long Chen explained the terrifying pressure of the tenth step. He also apologized to Zhu Yunwen as their soul testing plate had been ruined. Three thousand dragon power. All of them were horrified, not daring to believe their ears. How can that be? Throughout all of history, such a thing has never happened. This pressure is also like a whirlpool, causing it to be difficult to block. If there is the slightest slip in our cooperation, we might be crushed, said one woman, looking pale with fright. Everyone sank into horrified silence. 
they knew that three thousand dragon power was not something that they could handle even if they joined forces there would naturally be power disparities and weaknesses in their efforts to withstand it for example if a person's upper limit was one hundred pounds ten people working together wouldn't be able to lift a thousand pounds even if they cooperated well eight hundred pounds would be the upper limit a hundred people working together then their limit was closer to five thousand pounds the more people the more difficult it would be to work together and the less efficient they were although more people meant more power it was not as simple as a matter of addition the worst part was that the pressure here was not in a fixed direction but a constant vortex of chaos with so many people it was even harder to go against this pressure rather than saying it was like two people trying to lift a weight it was more like two people trying to lift a frantically struggling beast the difficulties were completely different before entering the third gate just enduring the impact of two hundred dragon power had already been incredibly taxing for them they had failed twice before succeeding although zhu yunwen and the others had managed to reach that level already the twisting and turning pressure around them was tricky to handle it was a feeling that made them almost spit out blood just two hundred dragon power alone was already extremely difficult for them then three thousand dragon power was essentially impossible brother long a eh? where is brother long Zhu Yunwen was just about to ask Long Chen about a plan when he found that Long Chen was already gone. Watch out. I'm coming back. Just then, they heard Long Chen's voice far off ahead of them. Then, a golden light smashed into the gate again, causing another dent to appear beside the first one. Just as everyone was still lost in their shock, Long Chen had rushed ahead again. Brother Long, are you all right? Zhu Yunwen and the others were stunned. Did Long Chen really intend on barging through on his own? It had to be known that this trial was clearly set up for them to enter together. It's fine. I refuse to believe that I can't get through. Long Chen wiped the blood off the corner of his mouth and charged out once more. Seeing Long Chen's unstoppable figure, after a moment of stunned silence, Zhu Yunwen and the others' unyielding wills were also provoked. Just how much courage and willpower did Long Chen possess to keep attempting such an impossible feat? They, as princes and princesses of the Vermilion Bird Empire, were actually recoiling in the face of this difficulty. The stark contrast between them caused them to feel ashamed, so they all continued pushing themselves. Long Chen was rushing off all alone while they were planning on facing it together. If they still couldn't manage to do it, how could they have any face left? As a result, Long Chen was repeatedly sent smashing into the gate, which was now riddled with dents. However, Long Chen managed to gradually last longer on the tenth step each time. The moment Long Chen managed to stand steadily on the tenth step, rumbling sounds burst out of his essence blood the runes in his blood then condensed into tiny spears this id long chen was startled not knowing if this was a good thing or a bad thing excellent your dragon blood has produced cores you have completed the first step of the dragon soul body forging art the dragon expert's voice rang out sounding gratified as well as excited in read com chapter four thousand three trial by fire battleground what does it mean for my dragon blood to produce cores asked long chen long chen's dragon blood was originally filled with runes but now those runes had condensed into what appeared to be tiny little eggs there's no need for you to know yet anyway your current condition is very good even better than i expected keep going with this refinement and it will quicken the pace after condensing these cores your room for growth has once more risen explosively don't waste your time said the dragon expert long chen found that after these cores condensed 
the terrifying pressure no longer felt so terrible. Long Chen then began to cultivate on the tenth step. Once his essence blood was refined to the limit once more, Long Chen began to practice his punches and kicks. When his kai and bones were also refined, the golden runes in them also became golden cores. When all three were refined to their limit, he became completely used to the pressure on the tenth step. He could even walk through the air once more. This forbidden flying space was no longer able to restrain him. With the blood, kai, and bones strengthened, he started refining his Yuan spirit once more. It was weird, though. His Yuan spirit was changing, but he was unable to sense its strengthening, which worried him somewhat. Senior, what is going on with my Yuan spirit? Long Chen was unable to keep himself from asking. Just keep refining. When the time comes, I will naturally tell you, said the dragon expert indifferently. Feeling helpless, Long Chen could only continue cultivating blindly. To his surprise, though, when his Yuan spirit refinement was complete, Zhu Yunwen and the others started to attempt climbing the tenth step. Long Chen watched as they worked together to climb the tenth step. He didn't help. He knew that this final step was a trial for their cooperation. They had to be able to work together perfectly, to trust each other, to be able to support each other at a moment's notice. Long Chen suddenly understood why, despite the intense competition between the princes and princesses, there was no resentment among them, and no one resorted to underhanded tricks. This trial, by fire, was a way to maintain their unity as believers of the vermilion bird. This trial was also a test of their feelings. Under the support of their faith energy, the imperial family's bloodline was fully protected. From start to finish, they were one solid block, when Zhu Yunwen and the others saw Long Chen standing steadily on the tenth step, they were shocked, but it was also the greatest encouragement for them. If Long Chen could stand on it by himself, there was no excuse for them to not get up as well. At this moment, they no longer knew the meaning of the word fear as they charged up together. They repeatedly failed. With every attempt, they were blown back. Their formation was thrown into chaos, and people coughed up blood. With every failure, Long Chen would punch the void, causing a huge ripple that tore apart the terrifying pressure. This way, they were at most injured and were at no risk of dying. Without that danger, they had no more misgivings. They repeatedly tried multiple formations to distribute the pressure. With Long Chen present, their morale was high, so they continuously tried to climb up. As for Long Chen, he was facing off against all the pressure alone. His power was also constantly growing. A day later, they finally managed to climb onto the tenth step. The moment they managed to do so, the vermilion bird in their manifestations soared into the heavens, forming one giant bird. That giant bird was the combined body of all their manifestations, and it unleashed a sacred light upon them all. Immersed within that light, a trace of that sacred aura also appeared on Yu Qingxuan and the others' bodies. It's the vermilion bird divine blessing. It's a repayment of our faith energy. We have actually received the blessing of the vermilion bird. Imperial father, we succeeded. Chu Yunwen and the others cried out emotionally. Long Chen didn't know what this repayment of faith energy was, but when this divine light shone on them, he sensed sacred energy entering their bodies, causing their auras to change. Just then, the huge gate in front of them slowly opened. Long Chen and the others exchanged a glance. Let's go. When Long Chen stepped forward, Xu Yunwen and the others also followed without waiting to investigate how they had exactly changed. Pill! When they stepped through the gate, they heard roaring, and Long Chen was startled. The devil race! Boot! Long Chen then unleashed a punch that shattered the surrounding space. As a result, countless devil experts were blown apart, but not a single drop of blood appeared. 
It's a simulation of a battlefield. Only then did Long Chen realize that these devil experts were replicated by a formation. They didn't actually have bodies of flesh and blood. At this moment, Ju Yunwen, Yu Kai Su, and the others also saw the situation here. Yu Kingshuan said, It's a battlefield trial by fire. Suddenly, they saw blood. One of the imperial disciples was struck by a spear from a devil expert, and it pierced straight through his shoulder. No, the devil experts are truly from the devil race. Everyone be careful. You can easily lose your life here. Long Chen's divine sense swept through the battlefield, and he instantly noticed quite a few blood kai fluctuations. This trial by fire is a battleground. Battle is how you fight for the right to survive. If you are careless, you really will die here. Warriors of the Vermilion Bird Empire, we are no longer children hiding under the wing of our imperial father. This trial by fire is a rehearsal for when we step onto a true battlefield. Slaughter them, shouted Zhu Yunwen. Kill. The imperial disciples unleashed furious roars and began attacking, not caring whether the devils were real or illusions. They treated each and every devil as if it posed a genuine threat, determined to eliminate them all. Also, these devil experts were not weaklings. All of them had combat experience, and although they were in the immortal king realm, their power was not weak. If they were underestimated, these disciples really might be killed by them. Brother Long, this place doesn't suit you. Why don't you go onward? We'll follow from the rear, said Zhu Yunwen. Although their powers had crazily grown during this time, they all knew that Long Chen was growing even faster than them. Thus, Long Chen would purely be wasting his time here. It would be better for him to scout ahead. It would save time and help them prepare for the next danger. Long Chen nodded, and after imploring Yu Qingxuan and the others to be careful, he set off alone. There was another step up ahead, but this step was a thousand miles away. When he stepped onto it, he saw that the devils on the battlefield were a bit stronger and more numerous than before. However, it was only a slight difference. With Long Chen's current power, he blasted apart the enemies with a single punch, that wasn't even his full power, but he already blasted a path straight through them. Long Chen quickly reached the tenth step. The devil experts here had gone from the initial immortal king realm to the peak of the immortal king realm. However, they still weren't enough to pose a problem for Long Chen. Long Chen arrived in front of the gate and didn't waste any time, directly passing through it. On the other side of the gate, a cold devil kai poured upon him. World Kings. This chapter upload first at Inread, come chapter 4004, the winged devil race. Again, countless devil experts attacked Long Chen as soon as he passed through the gate. This time, their cultivation bases were no longer in the immortal king realm, but in the world king realm. Boom. A devil expert's saber slashed into Long Chen's shoulder. However, its saber was the one shattered. Its body also exploded, the fragments of its corpses scattering to the ground. Damn, just how powerful is my current physical body? Long Chen simply wanted to test the power of his physical body by receiving this attack. However, he hadn't expected the resulting backlash to directly blow up the attacker. Seeing the other devil experts attacking, Long Chen just stood there and allowed them to attack him. As a result, they were all blown apart just from attacking him. The replicated devil experts turned to dust, and those that possessed actual physical bodies exploded into chunks of flesh. Long Chen raised his arms. Looking at his own hands, he was overjoyed. The current him was only in his normal state. He hadn't summoned his dragon blood battle armor, but he was already this powerful. This trial by fire had truly made his power soar. The dragon's soul body forging art was truly terrifying beyond his expectations. With a roar, Long Chen suddenly shot forward like a shooting star, 
blowing apart all the devil experts who were in his way. They might as well have been clumps of paper. That refreshing feeling of blasting through his enemies made Long Chen laugh delightedly. With this power, who could block him? Long Iashan Kantu, who cared? He would crush them with a single punch next time. Boot! Suddenly, Long Chen came to a stop. His body finally met an object that he couldn't blast through, and the high speed impact left him with stars spinning in his eyes. After stabilizing his body, he slowly climbed up and realized that he had reached the tenth gate. Fuck! Long Chen rubbed his head as an excised bump rose out of his forehead. This gate was too hard, wasn't it? He circulated his life energy, and when the lump went down, he walked through the slight crack that had appeared when he crashed into it. As soon as he did so, a sharp claw whistled toward him. Long Chen then raised his hand and caught that claw with his bare hand. The attacker was a ferocious-looking devil expert covered in scales. With its claws caught, the devil expert suddenly opened its mouth, and a blood-colored sword shot out of it. Long Chen twisted his head, narrowly dodging the sword. Just then, the devil expert's other claw silently stabbed toward his abdomen. Its reactions and moves were all quick and vicious. And Long Chen raised his foot, striking the devil expert in the abdomen. The immense power sent it flying while its arm remained in Long Chen's grasp. Divine Venerate Realm. It has both power and combat experience. I don't think everyone can pass through. Long Chen's expression changed. Considering Long Chen's current power, for him to have not killed that devil expert with this kick meant that its physical body was extremely powerful. Furthermore, it had immense combat experience and was also capable of using magical arts. This was no longer a simple trial by fire. The first to third levels were pressure trials, and the fourth to sixth levels were combat trials. But the fourth and fifth levels were actually just a warm-up for this cruel battlefield in the sixth level. Just as Long Chen sank into thought, the devil expert that he had kicked away came roaring back. Long Chen then unleashed a punch, and that furious roar was instantly cut off. This devil transformed into a rain of blood in reed. Come, it was a true body of flesh and blood, not an ordinary puppet. No wonder it could use magical arts, murmured Long Chen. It seemed that this trial land was also a prison with an unknown number of devil experts inside. They were released inside when the trial was activated. While these devils were not supremes, their presence exuded an ancient aura suggesting that they were not beings from this era. Furthermore, their strength far surpassed that of ordinary divine venerates. Also, the way they activated their magical arts and divine abilities was different. They were activated rapidly, and the slightest carelessness would cause a person to be struck by it. This trial was truly bloody. However, when Long Chen entered, there was only a single devil beside him, not a huge army. Clearly, this trial also gave people some buffer room. Suddenly, the space quivered once more, and another devil materialized. It immediately pounced on Long Chen, only to be swiftly sent flying with a single kit. That creature lay on the ground, but it didn't give up. Pressing with its feet, it shot a bone arrow directly at Long Chen. The projectile reached him almost instantaneously after being unleashed. Long Chen managed to catch the bone arrow, but he was taken aback by its immense power, which caused his hand to tremble slightly. At the same time, a piercing scent entered his nose. He then saw many small holes at the tip of the bone arrow with black spots inside. There's poison. Long Chen's heart shook. If struck by this thing, it would be fatal. Just then, that devil expert attacked once more with a sharp bone blade. Unbothered by it, Long Chen shattered the bone blade with a punch and smashed the devil expert into the ground. At the same time, three more bone arrows shot out of its back. 
its bone arrows were shockingly powerful this thing's too dangerous i'm confiscating it long chen tossed the bone arrows into the primal chaos space the devil expert let out a furious roar as it continued to struggle wildly but long chen was determined and kept pressing it into the ground as he observed the creature he noticed its teeth flickering with a cold light without hesitation long chen summoned a pair of pliers ready to take action even with all the devils struggling long chen managed to pluck out all its sharp teeth he only released it after it was no longer a threat the devil roared but having lost its blade bone arrows and teeth it could only hit long chen with its fists unable to harm him long chen simply kicked it away he didn't slay it because he knew that once it was dead the formation would replace it the reason he did this was because he was worried about yu kingshuen and the others being injured by this devil expert the poison arrows would instantly kill the imperial disciples if they were struck long chen then continued onward when he encountered dozens of devils he stripped them of their fatal weapons and then ignored them after walking thirty miles they stopped chasing him and returned to the entrance under the control of the formation their movements were limited to a certain area long chen encountered more and more devils and they grew increasingly powerful on the sixth step a man with bat wings blocked his path winged devil race and a supreme too long chen's heart shook damnable human race do you know what you've done to his surprise this winged devil expert actually spoke i think you should take a look at inread come chapter four thousand five beginning soul refinement could it be that this was a puppet long chen stood in front of this expert sensing his powerful supreme fluctuations inferior human race you dare to enslave the mighty winged devil race you will be cursed for eternity rotting away in pain forever vanishing from this world roared the winged devil no he can't see me he's still a puppet long chen looked at the latter's lifeless eyes and murmured to himself damnable human race you've blasphemed the mighty winged devil race you will pay a painful price for your foolishness the winged devil continued to roar furiously however as it repeatedly cursed and roared it kept repeating the same things he kept saying the same things as he walked around not even looking at long chen when long chen walked forward a few steps that winged devil's body suddenly quivered and his eyes glared at long chen within those lifeless eyes a flame-like diagram appeared die the winged devil roared and shot toward long chen its claws like hooks aiming for his head the claws were as quick as lightning and emitted an ear-piercing explosion however long chen snorted and simply punched away his claws as a result the winged devil's claws were shattered but bloody marks appeared on long chen's fist my defenses are finally broken looking at the wounds on his hands long chen finally knew how far his physical body had been strengthened a supreme divine venerate winged devil using his sharpest claws was barely able to penetrate his defenses that was a reality that he found hard to believe if it was before such an attack would require him to summon the dragon blood battle armor and even then he would not dare to receive it with just his body he would definitely use his minghong saber however it merely caused some bloody marks now while his opponent's claws were directly shattered so it was clear that he still had an absolute advantage in terms of power and defense the winged devil roared and his wings quivered slashing down like blades long chen then blocked eight of its attacks these wings were able to pierce his skin but unable to slice apart his muscles let alone reach his bones now my physical body really is unrivaled long chen was overjoyed as he fought this winged devil's claws and wings were comparable to the strongest world domain divine items however his basic attacks were unable to cause long chen any substantial injuries in the end 
the winged devil's claws and wings were torn apart. Just like before, Long Chen didn't kill his opponent, leaving them for Yu Qingxuan and the others. One reason was as a warning to them about these opponents, while the other was to tell them that he was still doing well up ahead. As he continued onward, more winged devils appeared. Sometimes there would be two together or even three. But Long Chen always tore off a wing or cut off an arm before continuing onward, leaving the injured ones for the royal disciples to face. That way, the level of danger would drop, but the enemy's actual combat power wouldn't be reduced too much, making it a good trial for the imperial disciples. As Long Chen ascended to the seventh step, he was confronted not only by the formidable winged devils, but also by a host of other powerful devil races. All of them were very powerful. Long Chen rushed through them and crippled the dangerous ones. Only when he felt like they no longer had the power to one-shot Ju Yifeng and the others did he continue. On the eighth and ninth steps, the devil experts were in groups, and there were tens of thousands of them. Even Long Chen had no choice but to activate the dragon blood battle armor. Only in this state could he prevent himself from being drowned by their numbers. Against so many of them, even Long Chen was left disoriented and lost. He tried to break through their formation several times without reaching the tenth step. He was repeatedly forced back. It was because Long Chen didn't wish to kill them all. He didn't know if that would cause them to vanish and not be replaced. If he killed them all, the Imperial Disciples would have no training partners, and it might ruin their advancement. Having reached the sixth level, Long Chen could already tell the tempo of the trial. Every level had good things inside with a steady increase in difficulty that pushed people just the right amount. He couldn't ruin it and pull any cheap tricks, or the others might not be able to pass the further levels. After a couple of tries, Long Chen finally managed to charge through the devil experts. When he reached the tenth step, the violent pressure once more appeared. The devil experts here had gone from the initial divine venerate realm to the peak of the divine venerate realm. Although they were not double supremes, peak divine venerates still had terrifying power. The worst thing about this level was the immense pressure that Long Chen was under, while the devil experts remained unaffected. As soon as he stepped up, several devil experts attacked him. Hence, he retreated to the nine steps, but the devils there attacked him directly. Keeping his calm, he fought off those devils on the ninth step, took a breath, and returned to the tenth step. As soon as he did, it was like lead was poured through his body, causing his speed to plummet and his reactions to slow down. But his opponents were still as quick as lightning. As a result, Long Chen didn't even last a single breath's time before being forced back. He didn't even manage to remember what those attacking devils looked like. It's too difficult just being by myself. The pressure is all concentrated on me, cursed Long Chen. He had a thought to throw off the heavy equipment. That would reduce the pressure and increase his speed. However, he kept them on. If he took them off, the effect of this trial would plummet, and there was also his face to consider. Hence, he gritted his teeth and continued. Golden scales covered his entire body as he attacked the devils on the tenth step. Their weapons struck his body, causing his blood kai to surge and churn within him. However, Long Chen clenched his teeth and persevered. Although it was difficult fighting while he was slower than them, this trained his reaction speeds and perception. In the end, Long Chen was able to last an hour on the tenth step but he was still forced back to rest. That wild tempest of attacks drained his energy. At this time, Yu Qingxuan and the others had yet to reach the sixth step, but based on Long Chen's estimation, they should have reached the fifth step. After resting a bit, Long Chen prepared to attack the tenth step once more when the dragon expert spoke to him. Enter the next phase. Start the soul refinement. 
I think you should take a look at Inread, com chapter 4006, splitting the mind in to refine my soul now. Are you sure that you're not joking? Long Chen almost didn't dare to believe his ears. Refining the soul required one's entire heart and mind to enter the meditative state. But with so many devil experts here, how was he supposed to enter that state? As soon as he did, wouldn't he be turned into a corpse by these devils? Of course, I'm not joking. You will need to split your mind in two, fighting while refining the soul. You see, the dragon race possesses two horns, one yang and one yin. We are a body of two souls, capable of handling dual thoughts effortlessly. I know that it's difficult for your human race, but it must be done. This cultivation technique is my creation, and there is only one path to follow. You must conquer this step, said the dragon expert. But it's impossible. It's not like I can walk while looking left and right at the same time, remembering all the different sceneries and reacting accordingly for each situation. Unless Long Chen suddenly had an unbelievable thought. He had been about to say, unless he released his heart devil. However, as soon as he thought of his sealed heart devil, he knew that it would be impossible. Try it, urged the dragon expert. Feeling helpless, Long Chen could only do as the dragon expert said. He then stepped onto the tenth step once more, knowing that the only thing he could do was continue onward. However, he had just drawn the energy of his blood, Kai, bones, and spirit into his spiritual space when those devils beat him black and blue. He had no choice but to retaliate. As a result, the soul refinement came to an end. He then once more entered the soul refinement state. Again, the moment his mind sank into his spiritual space, his body lacked any direction and was beaten again. Long Chen clenched his teeth. Feeling annoyed, he decided to use his body's instincts to fight while his mind focused on soul refinement. In any case, the dragon blood battle armor was powerful enough that they would be unable to kill him. However, this thought was cut off by the dragon expert. You must learn to split your mind. It is very important to you. I don't care what method you use, but there are no tricks or cheats that can get you past it. It was very firm, leaving Long Chen no room for negotiation. Hence, he helplessly tried again. But every time his mind entered his spiritual space, it was forced to be called out to fight. There was no way for him to do both at once. Long Chen tried many times and failed every time. In the end, he had no choice but to retreat in order to heal. While recovering, he pondered how he was supposed to split his mind. Long Chen even thought about releasing his heart devil and striking the deal, but he abandoned that thought as it was too dangerous. The true dragon race had two souls. Then this was something of utter simplicity to them, but Long Chen couldn't figure out how to do it. No matter how he thought, he was unable to figure it out. Long Chen cursed furiously. Of course, he didn't dare to curse the dragon expert, so he simply cursed himself for being dumb. But all that cursing was useless. He simply couldn't do it. For now, he could only vent his fury on these devil experts. To his surprise, though, after mindlessly attempting it several times, he felt like he had grasped something in Reed. Calm, however, that feeling was still elusive. When he started fighting the devil experts, that feeling grew stronger. It was as if without realizing it, some mysterious energy appeared to guide his power, making Long Chen feel like his mind had truly been split in two. This energy was like a key that could unlock the potential in his body. But while the key was now there, he had no idea how to use it. As Long Chen tried and tried, he stopped thinking about it and just continued to fight the devil expert. He didn't refine his blood or refine his soul, just mindlessly fighting. When his heart was no longer impatient, he clearly felt his kai grow calm and his head grow clear. He then entered a strange state. 
Right now, Long Chen tried to split his mind in two again, and as he fought, a large amount of golden energy flooded his spiritual space, delighting him. However, that delight instantly caused the golden energy to come to a stop. When he tried to intentionally enter that state again, he found himself unable to enter it. Long Chen then calmed his mind, trying to find that feeling again. But no matter how he tried, he was unable to, leaving him so frustrated that he wanted to give up. After he rested a bit and thought back, a spark of understanding struck him. No desires can lead to what you seek. Long Chen once more stepped onto the tenth step. This time, he didn't think about splitting his mind. He just fought the devil experts without worries or joy. When his mind was calm, he once more tried splitting it in two. As a result, he succeeded this time. Long Chen kept himself steady. As he fought, he circulated the energy of his blood, kai, bones, and spirit, sending their energy into his spiritual space. It then gradually turned golden. However, this state only lasted a few breaths' time before stopping. Even so, Long Chen didn't panic or get flustered. He simply continued to fight. After a bit, he once more entered that state. This was an empty mind state in which he did his best to make himself forget about everything, to make himself indifferent to everything, as if he was just a spectator watching himself. The feeling faded quickly once again. But this time, it didn't return, so Long Chen went back to rest. Based on Long Chen's estimation, he had to be in his peak condition to enter this state. If he was tired, it would be very difficult to enter it. After repeatedly resting and fighting again, Long Chen gradually grasped this feeling. He was able to stay in that state longer and longer. However, for Long Chen, splitting his mind was a special state, and it was not something that he could maintain. In other words, he was able to enter this state now, but he couldn't control when it faded. Remember this feeling. It will be very important to you, said the dragon expert. Senior, what is this power? Long Chen couldn't help asking, feeling lost. This was something completely incomprehensible to him. Just remember it is all. I will tell you later. It is the crux of the dragon soul body forging art, and it will be your foundation for reaching higher realms. This is something that both your human race and my dragon race have. But it is called different things, and our comprehension of it is also different. I would not be able to explain it to you clearly, so you don't need to ask, said the dragon expert. Long Chen nodded. Indeed, the Tao was not something that could be imparted with just words. There truly was no way to explain the Grand Tao, as every person had their own experiences and their own unique comprehensions. While Long Chen was cultivating within the Vermilion Bird trial, by fire, the Vermilion Bird Empire was already in a state of chaos. I think you should take a look at Inread, come chapter 4007 Skirda's last for thousands of years, the Vermilion Bird Empire descended into chaos as large armies amassed along their border, pressing them on all sides. It felt as if eight sharp blades were pointed at their gates, a signal that war was about to break out. For the commoners of the Vermilion Bird Empire, who had not experienced any war in hundreds of thousands of years, this was utterly terrifying. As fear gripped them, countless people began to flee the cities, and all kinds of wild rumors were flying about. Some cunning propagandists, taking advantage of the situation, deliberately stoked the waves of hearsay, ensuring that these alarming tales spread far and wide. The rumors ran rampant, claiming that war had already started, and that the Empire's army lay in ruins. Some even said, that the capital would quickly become a sea of fire, and soon all of them would die. Adding to the turmoil, some people even released fabricated diaries of people who supposedly committed terrible acts for the Vermilion Bird Empire. This deliberate slander only served to further sow chaos, 
and discord unsettling the hearts and minds of the people as a result the commoners began to protest against the royal family with some even welcoming the invading armies into the empire wanting them to lead the people to a better future just like that even before the war had begun the interior of the empire had descended into complete disarray at this moment a thick layer of haze covered the sky casting a summer and chilling atmosphere over the once lively capital the once vibrant streets were now filled with patrolling soldiers a sign that the city was on high alert with the empire in chaos soldiers were recruited throughout the entire empire and the offered salary was also very generous however to go against eight other empires was simply madness the power disparity was very clear and everyone knew that they couldn't possibly win as a result even before the clash of armies the people's hearts were already broken one significant factor contributing to this was the haunting memory of long chen's merciless bloodbath at the philosopher institute where numerous scholars lost their lives this act was now perceived as eliminating dissidents under a tyrannical ruler everyone thought that those scholars had pointed out all the corruption in the empire so the empire had decided to silence them in any case all kinds of unfavorable rumors for the empire were going around with this mix of truth and falsehood the people's hearts were like a plate of sand in complete disarray within the palace yu Zioyan's expression was dark and his killing intent was terrifying seeing him like this none of the officials in the palace dared to speak up all of you really did get too used to peace you don't even know how to fight they just intimidate you and you are already turned into this you've lost the face of the vermilion bird roared yu Zioyan. those officials quivered with fright not daring to make a sound it had to be known that when the emperor's anger got the best of him no one would dare to face his wrath my vermilion bird empire has a thriving populace skilled in culture and martial arts we have reached unprecedented glory tell me why is the empire unable to fight back roared yu zioyan yu zioyan's gaze swept over the officials princes and princesses but no one dared to respond the entire palace was so silent that you could hear a pin dropping yunwen you are the crown prince tell me how the empire has fallen to this extent demanded yu zioyan if long chen were here he would be shocked to see the crown prince yu king shuin ju yifend yu kaiing su and all the other princes and princesses here in the palace that shu yunwen stood when he was questioned clenching his teeth he said this is the natural result of valuing letters over arms too much peace caused people to sing and dance while martial arts became useless then the scholars grew to the point of degrading martial arts our soldiers trained and risked their lives for hundreds of years but a bunch of scholars who merely studied for a few years suddenly got higher positions than them didn't you personally write that learning is above all else now that battle has descended there is no time to prepare the umbrella for the rain there are no soldiers who want to fight for us yet you blame us that is not the display of a noble emperor hearing zhu yunwen say such a thing everyone in the palace was horrified they stared at him in disbelief impudence as expected yu zioyan furiously roared you dare to speak to your emperor like that you are blaming me for being blind so i have to suffer the consequences of my own actions ju yunwen clenched his teeth in the face of the furious yu zioyan he seemed to throw caution to the wind i do not dare to offend you but too much peace has caused martial power to fall out of favor instead a bunch of sweet talking scholars rose in position when martial arts have no more use they naturally fall out of favor it is already considered something low class amongst the people and who wouldn't wish to strive for a higher status martial artists are martial artists scholars are scholars but you force us to have both 
Long Chen has said that scholars and learning are for talking reason with others. But training martial arts is what makes others talk reason with us. If we are to practice martial arts, why must we also learn to talk reason? It costs us so much time that we could have spent strengthening ourselves, tempering the sharpness that a martial artist should have. Now we have what you wanted. Everyone has great learning and skill, but lacks the will and determination to fight for their lives. They don't dare to fight their enemies, so just who are you going to blame for that? The battlefield requires iron men, not a bunch of useless scholars. If those scholars like to talk reason so much, why not have them talk reason with the eight empires? You dare bring this unfilial son away. Lock him in the little black room for ten days, shouted Yu Zioan. Imperial father, you can't. All the princes and princesses cried out. Ten days in the little black room? Other than Long Chen, no one else could endure it. It was no different than killing him. Your Majesty, even the two empresses spoke up. Five days. Anyone else who speaks up can go in with him, shouted Yu Zioan. He seemed to also feel like ten days was too long, but he refused to give no punishment at all. Dismissed, Yu Zioan stood, swung his sleeves, and left. His two empresses hastily followed him, while the officials and others silently left. It seemed that even the palace was also in chaos. However, when Yu Zioan, Zhang, Huixin, and Zhu Langxin returned to the gate of the Vermilion Birds trial by fire, Yu Zioan's expression relaxed a great deal. His former rage was gone. It turned out that everything from before was just an act to create the illusion of an oppressive atmosphere hanging over the empire. They even had actors disguised as the crown prince and the others, all for the eyes and ears of their enemies to see. After all, the fact that Long Chen and the others had entered the trial was a secret. They've already reached the sixth level. They clearly know our situation and are doing their best, said Jang Huixin. We can only stall for as much time as possible. Who knows whether it is even possible to pass this unprecedented trial, said Zhu Langson worriedly. Don't worry with that little brat present. There definitely won't be any problems, said Yu Zioan. Zioan, you really have such confidence in him? asked Zhu Langson curiously. It's not that I have confidence in him. I only have confidence in the heavenly Tao's. What does that mean? A good person has a short life, but bad people have long lives. A scourge like him will definitely live thousands of years at least, said Yu Zioan. Zhu Langxin, Jiang Huixin. In read, come chapter 4008, Endless Sea of Fire on the tenth step of the sixth level, Long Chen was under immense pressure as he fought the devil experts. Now, his movements had reached the level of being able to keep up with their speed even under this pressure in read. Calm, however, he was only able to last for at most four hours. After all, the immense pressure was extremely taxing and energy draining, so he had no choice but to go back and rest occasionally. His spiritual space was now a sea of gold, and beneath it was the ancient bronze cauldron floating in front of the divine gate. Long Chen found that the nourishment of the golden energy was causing a subtle change in the cauldron. It was as if that golden energy was able to affect it. As more of that golden energy entered his spiritual space, Long Chen found that his spiritual strength was also undergoing a miraculous change. However, he still didn't sense his spiritual strength getting stronger, nor did his spiritual space grow. He wasn't even able to tell what exactly was changing. As for the state that allowed him to split his mind, it was truly mysterious. He couldn't explain it clearly. It was like he had stepped into an unknown domain. After resting, Long Chen once more returned to the tenth step. This time, after the soul refinement, egg-like runes had appeared in his spiritual space. Now, his blood 
kai, bones, spirit, and soul had produced these runes, which signified that his soul refinement had reached its current limit. Long Chen. When Long Chen returned to the first step to rest, Zhu Yunwen, Yu Qingxuan, and the others had just passed through the gate and were delighted to see him. Long Chen was shocked to see their incredibly sharp auras. Before this, they had been like embryonic blades. But having gone through the tempering of battle, they were displaying their light. After all, the imperial disciples were all geniuses, but their combat experience was lacking, causing their combat power to be terrible. However, through this trial of combat, their combat experience grew. This trial by fire was clearly created for them. They now had powerful combat instincts and could no longer be considered rookies. Just from their sharp gazes, he could see the change in them. They had completely transformed. The imperial family had intentionally not raised them in order to trick their enemies. However, the time had come for them to be unshaped as divine blades, their skills honed and perfected to their utmost potential. When Long Chen asked, he learned that they had charged to the seventh step of the previous level in one go. The devil experts that he had crippled were of little challenge to them, so it seemed that he had gone a bit too far. Anyway, their growth exceeded his expectations. Most shocking of all was Zhu Yifeng's gaze. It was electric, akin to a volcano. Of every one, his improvement was the quickest. All right, let's go to the tenth step. Long Chen rested and then brought them all the way to the tenth step of this level. With Long Chen's protection, the imperial disciples could go all out, and there was no need for Long Chen to do anything. They blasted through the devils like they were rotting wood. It was only when they actually reached the tenth step that their expressions changed. They hadn't expected there to be such a powerful pressure here. However, with 800,000 of them stepping forward at once, the pressure was distributed around them, so they were still able to resist. On the other hand, Long Chen had been facing all of that pressure himself, while also splitting his mind in two. That was what made it so taxing for him to fight off the devil experts. When they called upon their manifestations, the aura of the vermilion bird blazed to life and divine flames soared with an intense brilliance. With unyielding determination, they unleashed their full power, holding nothing back in their display of strength and prowess. With Long Chen here, they didn't need to worry about conserving their energy, so they went all out. As they slaughtered their enemies, Long Chen noticed that the pressure here caused their manifestations to grow increasingly solid. Moreover, their flame energy was growing along with their manifestations, causing their attacks to be sharp and fierce. With every moment, their power rose. Seeing this, Long Chen felt incredibly envious. The Vermilion Bird Empire's foundation was truly astonishing. If they could pass this trial, these disciples alone would strike fear into the hearts of their enemy. Clearly, the Vermilion Bird Empire's plan of acting weak was to bag something big. They would get rid of all their enemies once and for all. Long Chen and the others fought on the tenth step for half a day. They were actually already exhausted, and Zhu Yunwen wanted to bring everyone back to rest, but Long Chen ordered everyone to keep fighting. He found that pushing them to their limit would cause them to draw out more and more of their potential at a shocking rate. Fortunately, the imperial disciples were prideful, and under Long Chen's orders, they gritted their teeth and continued fighting. Despite there being numerous times where they thought that they wouldn't be able to hold on, seeing others were still enduring, they refused to give up. As a result, they lasted several more hours than they had expected. During the fight, they quickly noticed that the pressure around them was weakening. The devil experts were also thinning out. In the end, they were all slain and the pressure was gone. The imperial disciples then sighed with relief, and the majority of them directly collapsed, having severely overdrafted themselves. King Shuin, are you all right? 
Long Chen looked at the pale Yu Qingxuan worriedly. Yu Qingxuan was exhausted, but seeing Long Chen look at her, she smiled and said, I'm fine. This trial has been very helpful to me. I was fully focused on alchemy before, but now I'm making up for my lack of focus on fighting. Hee hee, if I had my current power in the three thousand worlds, none of you would have needed to worry about me. Yu Qingxuan's strongest point was her alchemy. In the Blazing Heaven Divine Sect, she focused mostly on alchemy because she didn't like fighting, leaving her with a lack of experience in that regard. However, in the Heavenly Flame world and the Three Thousand Worlds, she came to know this world's cruelty. Powerful martial strength was a must. So, the feeling of her power rising greatly gave her a sense of safety. Yu Qingxuan's killing power was undoubtedly the greatest here. Her core flame was the heavenly rainbow flame, and her manifestations, vermilion, bird was also different from everyone else's. However, she was still clearly unable to wield the full power of the heavenly rainbow flame. Her potential was terrifying, but her character was quiet and tranquil as she hadn't activated her battle instincts. Now, though, her potential was awakening. When they had recovered to around seventy or eighty percent, Long Chen didn't give them any more time to rest. He directly brought them through the gate. The first three levels were pressure, while the next three levels were actual combat. If Long Chen's guess was correct, the next three levels should be another kind of trial. Long Chen didn't hesitate and stepped right through the gate. When he did, the space around him changed, and he found himself within a sea of flames. Well, when Huo Linger saw this endless sea of flames, she cried out delightedly. She then ran out of the primal chaos space, staring at her surroundings in wonder. Bookmark this website in read come to update the latest novels. Chapter 4009 A True Trial By Fire the Sea of Fire Was Endless filled with intense raging flames. If an ordinary person were to come here, it would definitely be hell on earth for them. However, for flame cultivators, it was heaven. After you, Kingshuin and the others came out of the gate, they let out cheers. The Vermilion Bird Empire's disciples possessed very pure flame energy, a mark of the Imperial family's bloodline. Thus, when they arrived here, there was no need for them to even do anything. Their manifestations automatically appeared to start absorbing the flames. Their manifestations can even be strengthened once more. The vermilion bird's inheritance is truly enviable. Long Chen couldn't help sighing inside when he saw Zhu Yunwen and the others' manifestations growing. It was no wonder the vermilion bird empire dared to make such a bait play. They had the necessary power. However, they also made sure to keep things secret, or the other eight empires would never give them the time to grow through this trial. Finally, we can relax. They immerse themselves within the flames, their bodies feeling incomparably comfortable and relaxed. It was like they were warriors that had fought for many years and could finally lay down on their bed and sleep. That comfortable feeling couldn't be described with words. However, that person had barely finished speaking when a flame arrow suddenly pierced his shoulder, causing all of their nerves to tense back up. What's going on? Startled cries rang out. They didn't know what was going on as that flame arrow came out of nowhere. That person didn't even know where he was shot from. Uh! Suddenly, another scream rang out. A flame arrow pierced another person's leg and then vanished back into the void. There was no way to track it. Upon seeing this, everyone's expression changed. These flame arrows were incomparably sharp, and their bodies couldn't block them. Furthermore, they were silent and impossible to track. Just as everyone was bewildered, Long Chen closed his eyes and spread his divine sense. He noticed that his divine sense was suppressed to a range of just a few meters in this space. With his divine sense spread, Long Chen could see that it was like he was surrounded by water. The flame fluctuations were like flowing water, 
waves layering on top of each other, waves crashing against each other, and waves building on top of each other. Suddenly, Long Chen's hand snapped out. The void quivered, and a three-foot-long flame arrow was caught in his grasp. Seeing this, everyone let out startled cries. Long Chen had actually caught the flame arrow. However, just as he caught it, it dissipated like gas, vanishing without a trace. Brother Long, how did you do that? asked Zhu Yunwen. I spread my divine sense and managed to grasp some clues, said Long Chen. Spreading divine sense? But why can't I spread my divine sense? asked Zhu Yunwen. He turned to you, King Shuen. King Shuen, can you do it? I can only spread it seven meters before it's suppressed, said Yu King Shuen. Everyone was startled by this. Then why can't we do it at all? Just then, another person was struck by an arrow. As a result, all the disciples quivered fearfully. No matter how strong they were, invisible attacks were still frightening. Yu King Shuen also didn't know why she could and they couldn't. She then looked at Long Chen. Long Chen thought about it and said, Perhaps it is because the two of us are alchemists. Our spiritual perception is a bit stronger than others. But that isn't the crux of the problem. This trial must have its own goal. The first to third levels tempered your physical bodies and bloodlines. The fourth to sixth levels raised your combat experience and fighting skills. This seventh level must be tempering some kind of energy. Furthermore, this energy must be something that everyone has. Don't panic. This first step definitely gives some buffer room. It won't be fatal. You all saw that the arrows weren't striking anywhere fatal. So, there is no need to worry about your head suddenly being pierced just yet. Hearing that, everyone relaxed quite a bit. Just as Long Chen said, if those arrows avoided their vital parts, there was not that much to be afraid of. They couldn't help being ashamed of themselves. Despite both being in the immortal king realm, even ignoring their actual power, just this judgment and reaction speed was something that they couldn't keep up with. What they particularly admired about Long Chen was that no matter what the environment or circumstance was, he could always maintain his cool and confidence. Long Chen continued, Originally, this trial included a mental component, one that tested the metal of your heart, your ability to notice things, as well as your ability to control your fear of the unknown. I shouldn't have said anything in that case, but time is too pressing, so I will give everyone a reminder. This is a place of flame energy. So the power it is testing must be related to flames. Perhaps try drawing in the flame energy through your manifestation or your core flame. See if you can merge with these flames to see through its essence. However, I don't know if the trial is to block the arrows or to dodge them. We'll have to figure it out ourselves. Zhu Yunwen and the others slapped their legs. Of course, within the sea of fire, the trial definitely had something to do with flames. They had actually been too afraid of these unknown arrows to even think of this simple principle. Hence, they cursed themselves for being fools. They all thought themselves smart during normal times, but now they were like fools. Their heads were so slow. With Long Chen's reminder, they began to circulate their flame energy, using the fluctuations of their manifestation and core flame to sense the surrounding flames. An imperial disciple suddenly dodged to the side but was still struck through the shoulder by flames. However, he still cried out in delight. I saw it. I saw it. I could sense the surrounding fluctuations with my core flame. Pow! Suddenly, Zhu Yifeng's fist struck an arrow just as it appeared, causing him to feel ecstatic. Success. So that's how it works. After finding out the crux of the trial, the imperial disciples were delighted. They felt even more admiration for Long Chen. Everything became simple in front of him. Long Chen nodded. This is a test of spiritual perception and reaction. 
It is the most important thing on the battlefield, something that all top experts must possess. It is what allows you to instinctively find the best move in the middle of danger, like a chaotic battle. Within a chaotic battle, all the techniques, strategies, the martial patterns that you've learned, they are all nonsense. Battle instincts are the most important thing. As long as your spiritual perception is strong enough, even if your head doesn't react fast enough, your body will automatically make the most correct decision. If you can pass this part, you will be reborn as true warriors. Your combat power will no longer lag behind. Upon hearing that, everyone's blood heated up. Previously, Long Chen had said that they were unable to draw up their full power in combat, that they were at most unleashing 10 to 20 percent of their power. On that day, Long Chen had managed to capture Wang Tianyao and beat back a three-flower divine venerate. However, that hadn't been the result of some overwhelming power. He had done it easily and simply. That was a display of his combat experience. With Long Chen's encouragement, even Zhu Yunwen, Yu Kaing Su, and the others felt their blood heating up. Let's go to the next step. Long Chen then waved his hand, leading everyone forward. I think you should take a look at Inread, Com Chapter 4010, the ninth level. When they reached the next step, more invisible arrows appeared. But although they were sharp, they still weren't fatal as they didn't strike people in their vital parts. However, with the arrows being more concentrated, everyone was under more pressure. The arrows also came silently, making it difficult to sense them. After all, spiritual perception was not something easy to develop. It could only be accumulated by bloody effort, from brushing against death countless times. Although this trial was specially made for the Vermilion Bird Empire's Imperial Disciples, making it extremely effective, it was still very difficult to dodge all the arrows. In other words, they needed time to get used to it. Long Chen, you can train your will here, said the dragon expert. How do I train it? asked Long Chen. The dragon soul body forging art is my self-created technique, so there are many principles within it that are different from your human race. The method is also different. I said that you needed to cultivate seven kinds of power, the blood, kind, bones, spirit, soul, will, and mind. You didn't understand what these energies were, and there's no way for me to properly explain them. For example, the blood, kai, and bones are part of the body, but in the dragon race, there are two additional attributes, the dragon tendons and dragon horns. Your human race has no such thing. Your own tendons are a different concept from dragon tendons, let alone the dragon horns, said the dragon expert. Then what about my meridians and teeth? Can they be replacements? Asked Long Chen. It is impossible. Also, take note that the true dragon race's teeth are used for eating, not attacking. It is one difference between us and other dragon races. As for your human race's meridians, their strength cannot compare to the dragon race's meridians. Even if a true dragon fights to the death, their dragon bones might shatter, but their dragon tendons will be intact. Don't have crazy thoughts, all right. I adapted the dragon soul body forging art to you through countless calculations, and only then did I make the determination to give it to you. So, don't think yourself smart and start adding random things. Otherwise, you'll end up killing yourself with nowhere to cry, warned the dragon expert sternly. Long Chen obediently nodded. This wasn't something that he dared to play around with. This so-called will is a power that transcends the physical body according to our dragon race's explanations. However, we are also unable to say what exactly it is. It is something between your human race's divine sense and mental energy. It is incorporeal but can also be tangible. When your divine sense spreads, it is incorporeal but is capable of sensing the flame fluctuations. As a result, 
you can sense the direction of the attack the moment the arrow condenses and thus dodge or block it. But it is also tangible by layering it on top of your senses. Without using any other power, you can use it to block the arrows, change their orientation, or force them to follow your will, said the dragon expert. Use just my will to block attacks. That, that's impossible, no. Long Chen was shocked. He had never come into contact with that kind of power before. It had exceeded the scope of his understanding. How is it impossible? Sword cultivators attacking with their swords, alchemists controlling the fire, talisman cultivators using runic arts, spirit cultivators controlling spirits, they all use this kind of power. But they all add something additional like their spiritual seals on top of it. Also, ignoring whether or not I can place a spiritual seal on these flame arrows, they form so quickly that I have no time to even put one on them, said Long Chen, feeling that this was impossible. Don't waste time. You thought that you couldn't split your mind, but you still did it, right? Some things can't be explained with just words, so just listen to me. Ag, if I say that you can do it, then you can do it. If I have such confidence, why don't you? I, Long Chen, was speechless. He didn't even understand what it was saying, but it wanted him to try. Wasn't this playing with his life? However, he had no other choice, so he summoned his courage and tried it. Long Chen's divine sense was like air yet also like water. Through it, he sensed the surrounding fluctuations. It was very simple for him to sense any attacks, their direction, and their strength. Even so, this water and air could only be passively controlled, and there was no way to condense them into a barrier. Furthermore, Long Chen had never even come into contact with such a force before. He was groping around like a blind man. Most importantly, the dragon expert's explanation was also very vague, not giving Long Chen any direction at all. He didn't even know if he even had such a power. However, even if he didn't understand, he had to try. There was no way back for him now. But then, he felt so lost that he had no idea what he was doing. It was a difficult feeling. At this moment, Yu Qingxuan and the others were diligently training on the first step, making rapid progress. Chu Yifeng, Chu Yunwen, Yu Kaingsu, and the others had honed their abilities to sense a remarkable 80% of the attacks, gracefully dodging between 20 to 30% of them. Considering that they hadn't even been able to sense anything before, they were actually improving at an astonishing rate. Thus, Long Chen bid them farewell and continued onward. Arriving at the fifth step, he was about to stop there when the dragon expert urged him on. Keep going. So Long Chen helplessly continued on. The further he went, the more arrows appeared. With every step, two or three arrows would shoot at him. Long Chen could sense them and also dodge and block them. But he also knew that this meant nothing. After all, his cultivation method was different from Yu Qingxuan and the others. When he reached the tenth step, he was attacked by a dozen arrows every time he walked forward. To make things worse, they all shot at him from different angles. Keep going. Go to the ninth level, said the dragon expert, before Long Chen could even take a breather. Thus, Long Chen passed through the gate, arriving at the eighth level. To his surprise, the number of arrows dropped here, and he only encountered one every several steps. However, their power had intensified to the extent that even Long Chen's physical body was pierced by them. So, as he continued onward, wounds gradually appeared on his body. Those arrows were originally only able to pierce his skin, but by the seventh step of the eighth level, they were able to penetrate half an inch into his flesh. As expected, when he reached the tenth step, the arrows were even more terrifying. Now, these invisible arrows possessed the power to shoot straight through his body. Long Chen was about to train here, but the dragon expert directly urged him to enter the next level. 
causing Long Chen to feel an icy chill run through his body. He was then about to summon the dragon blood battle armor, but the dragon expert sternly stopped him. As Long Chen advanced to the ninth level, a fierce sword kai suddenly lunged toward his head, instilling a chilling sensation of imminent death that sent his nerves into a state of high alert. Reacting swiftly, Long Chen instinctively thrust his palm toward the incoming sword kai, meeting the attack head on. A spray of blood then followed as the sword kai pierced through his palm, prompting a visible change in his expression. In read Calm Chapter 4011, a gamble, senior. What are you doing? Long Chen's dragon scales were blocked by some mysterious energy, and he found himself unable to summon them. This sudden setback was dire, as his physical body alone was unable to block that sharp sword Kai. After all, unlike the challenges he faced on the seventh and eighth levels, the attacks here were ruthless and aimed directly at taking his life. The dragon expert's voice suddenly became heavy and grave. To refine the will requires the threat of death. Long Chen, let me put it to you this way. The power of your enemies far exceeds your imagination. The nine stars have helped you accomplish your goals, but they have also drawn you into a giant storm. Sooner or later, you will face your true enemy. But with your current cultivation speed, even if you were given ten thousand years, you wouldn't be able to fight your enemies. So I decided to gamble. In any case, if you really cannot grow past this point, your father and mother will die. Rather than just watching as they die miserable deaths, why not be more straightforward and skip to the end? Senior, what are you saying? Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. He had a bad feeling. If you are unable to pass this trial, you will not be able to escape the demonic claws of fate. I have gambled my hopes on you. Since that's the case, let's be direct. Let's see if you have the qualifications to keep me gambling on you. If you really are the son of destiny, you naturally won't die here. If you aren't, you will die a terrible death sooner or later. So dying now might actually be a kind of release for you, sighed the dragon expert. Senior, Long Chen suddenly found that he couldn't move his body at all. A mysterious energy had sealed his movements, leaving him unable to even blink. Just then, he was horrified to sense a ray of sword kai condensing behind him. The next moment, a fire-red sword pierced out of his back and through his chest. Its violent power almost blew apart his body. In his sealed state, he couldn't heal nor defend, thus, he could only watch as that sword pierced his body. Senior, are you trying to kill me? Long Chen roared. But he was unable to speak, so this was a spiritual roar. Even if I don't kill you, someone else will. Whether you are a dragon or a serpent will be seen right now. If you cannot activate your will, all your cultivation will be meaningless anyway, so let everything come to an end here. This is fate. The dragon expert sighed helplessly. Just then, Long Chan was horrified to sense space twisting in front of him. The invisible blade's target was his head. Sensing this, Long Chan grew frantic. He crazily struggled, but he had no idea what the dragon expert had done to him. He couldn't move. No, I can't die, Long Chen roared. However, the dragon expert ignored everything Long Chen said. After that, the invisible sharp sword condensed and shot at his head, its aura of death enveloping Long Chen. He knew that if this attack landed, he would definitely die. The next moment, Long Chen's vision turned dark as he descended into endless darkness. Within that darkness, he saw Meng Kai, Chu Yao, Tang Wan Er, Yu Qingxuan, Zai Yan, Dong Minju, Yi Jik Yu, and the others' faces. Their faces were full of worry and fear, as if they could see him dying but were powerless to help him. He also saw Guo Ran, Zai Chen, Gu Yang, Lai Kai, Song Minjuan, Yu Zifeng, Wild Up, and the other dragonblood warriors roaring, crazily rushing to him. 
he saw the faces of his father and mother and heard the cries of his biological parents their voices were full of pain and unwillingness i can't die with a heaven-shaking roar the darkness dispersed and his vision returned but at this time the sword was already right on his forehead even if he could move he couldn't dodge it the next moment blood sprayed as the sharp sword sliced through the air leaving a long gash on long chen's cheek long chen's head remained immobilized he still couldn't move. However, to his astonishment, the sword suddenly veered away from its original trajectory as if forced off course by some unseen power, sparing his forehead from the deadly blow. Just then, another sword condensed and shot at his head again, giving Long Chen no time to think. When the sword was about to pierce his head, it came to an abrupt halt, as if an invisible hand had caught it, preventing it from moving even an inch forward. In an instant, Long Chen felt the mysterious energy that had sealed his movements dissipate, and he found himself able to move again. However, he remained rooted in place, his gaze fixed on the sword in front of him, not daring to make a single move. It seems that we won our gamble. The dragon expert sighed with relief. Clearly, it had also been nervous. Senior, are you really trying to kill me? asked Long Chen darkly as he stared at the sword right in front of him. No. If you were unable to awaken this power in front of death, I would save you. I'd then send you to your brothers and lovers so you could have your reunion. Then you could face death together. You would no longer have any chance of winning, so you might as well have some joy before dying. You can enjoy your final time together, said the dragon expert. Hearing that, Long Chen felt much better. Just now, he really had almost died, causing fury and resentment to swell up within him. He didn't like that feeling. Even if it was for his own good, he would not allow anyone to control his life or death. However, after hearing these sincere words, Long Chen's fury instantly vanished like smoke in the wind. The dragon expert's origins were mysterious, and it knew countless secrets that Long Chen was unaware of. Deep inside, Long Chen always remembered everything that it had done for him. It could be said that his life had been saved by the dragon expert on multiple occasions. Long Chen had even admitted that he owed the dragon expert this life. Senior, I'm sorry. Long Chen apologized for his anger. This life of his was saved by the dragon expert, so even if it wanted his life, Long Chen shouldn't complain. His outburst of anger was akin to forgetting the gratitude he owed to the dragon expert. There is no need for courtesy between the two of us. I know that you don't like being controlled by others, said the dragon expert. Long Chen nodded. He really hated that feeling, as it drew out his most hated memories. That feeling of powerlessness was worse than death. Those memories seemed to be the painful ones of when he was bullied in the Phoenix Cry Empire. However, they also seemed to stem from the Pill Sovereign's memories. In any case, it was very difficult to endure. Just then, space quivered and two swords shot toward Long Chen from different directions, enveloping him with a sensation of death once more. In read, come chapter 4012, Heavenly Collapse Manifestation Boom. Long Chen didn't move, but those two swords suddenly veered away from him and crashed into each other. The two swords had appeared at almost the exact same time and had come from different directions, but a strange force suddenly changed their trajectory, causing them to clash in front of Long Chen and destroy each other. Why don't you tell me now what kind of power this is? asked the dragon expert. Hearing this, Long Chen was stunned. He found that even with all the books that he had read, he was unable to explain this power. Just as the dragon expert said, it was something between the power of the soul and mind. But it was a very vague concept. This power had to have a source and a point to be unleashed from. But Long Chen was unable to find it. Just then, another sword pierced toward him. Facing it, 
Long Chen suddenly formed hand seals, and a vortex appeared on his forehead. That sword was then drawn into the vortex and crushed to smithereens. The source of the six spirits, the foundation of the six senses, the collection of the six feelings merged two into one. Incorporeal but corporeal, tangible but intangible. Formless on the inside, controlling the six spirits. Tangible on the outside, controlling the six senses. Merge two into one, inner and outer. Feel the changes of the mysteries known only to the heavens, sense the cycle of the six Tao's. Heaven and earth in the palm of your hand, wrap your hand around the sun, moon, and stars. Suddenly, a mesmerizing mnemonic chant escaped Long Chen's lips, unbidden and beyond his control. The moment it happened, the world shifted and changed before his eyes. The celestial dance unfolded as the stars above the nine heavens began to swirl, their cosmic choreography enthralling all who saw it. The sun and moon, once steadfast in their courses, now rocked in an otherworldly rhythm. As a result, day turned to night, and the once radiant sun and moon lost their light, casting the world into an eerie darkness. But amidst this celestial upheaval, a wondrous sight unfolded. The stars, instead of being scattered, linked together in such a mesmerizing display, forming a celestial dragon that weaved its way above the very dome of the heavens. In that instant, no matter which race and species, all creatures within the nine heavens and ten lands looked up at the starry sky. Within the High Firmament Academy, countless disciples stared at the starry sky in terror, feeling like the heavens would collapse. Meanwhile, an elder clad in hemp robes remained deeply engrossed in sweeping the ground as though nothing else in the world held any significance to him but this simple task yet. As the stars began to shift in the night sky, he paused briefly. Behind his turbid eyes, there seemed to be a glimpse of the primal chaos essence that gave birth to all existence. It was then, when he saw the majestic manifestation of a dragon, that a faint smile slowly emerged on his ancient face. Without uttering a word, he lowered his head once more and resumed his sweeping. Heavenly manifestation covering the nine heavens. A peerless cultivation technique has been born. Within endless darkness, a short-haired beautiful woman stared up at the sky murmuring to herself. She looked to be in her thirties. With her skin-tight black leather armor hugging her curves tightly, she was just like a leopard in the night. Her hands clasped behind her back as she stood atop a cliff. A trace of shock appeared in her deep eyes. This woman was the peerless assassin that caused countless experts in the nine heavens and ten lands to quiver Iwa Sheng. She was the master of the shadow sect and also Dong Minju's master. She was a legendary existence in the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands. Oh! Suddenly, Iwa Sheng frowned. A touch of surprise appeared on her face. After a moment, she said, alert Minju. Our mission is starting. Yes. A voice responded in the darkness. From start to end, the speaker never revealed themselves. At all. The dragon expert laughed crazily, seemingly overwhelmed with excitement. Good, good. Long Chen, I really didn't misjudge you. My dragon soul body forging art can finally be passed down, ha ha ha. Long Chen was still lost. What had just happened? He had spontaneously spouted a mnemonic that seemed to emerge from the depths of his mind. But even he wasn't certain of its origin or meaning. Senior, I don't understand what you're saying. A cultivation technique can be passed down without words or diagrams, but it cannot be lacking a mnemonic. This mnemonic is like the path for people to follow. With this, others can walk the same path, and no matter how difficult the path is, people can still reach the end of it. As for myself, I simply flew over the path, so the actual process was vague to me and I was naturally unable to explain the profound mysteries within it. But you are different. You walked to this point step by step, leaving footprints along the path. 
my path was not recognized by the heavenly dows so i could not pass it down but you comprehended the mnemonic yourself that proves that the path can be walked furthermore it has received the acknowledgment of heaven and earth my dragon soul body forging art can finally be passed down to future generations ha 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 long chen do you know that in this lifetime i feared nothing except the loss of my self-created peerless divine technique after my departure it was this desire that fueled my determination to endure the humiliations of existence suddenly the dragon expert stopped speaking and switched topics in any case you've accomplished my heart's greatest desire long chen thank you senior don't be like that i'm the one who should be thanking you you're making me feel bad said long chen after learning a peerless divine technique he was even being thanked despite not considering himself thin-skinned he couldn't help but feel a sense of embarrassment ah oh, the dragon expert laughed with delight and gratification it was its first time feeling such happiness in countless years keep going refining the will is the step that makes one a peak expert after this trial you will be completely transformed i'm already brimming with anticipation to see you at full power with the dragon soul body forging art said the dragon expert long chen nodded and continued onward when he reached the second step of the level the tempo of the attacks increased but he was fully capable of dealing with them based on long chen's understanding the dragon experts so-called will was using thought as a guide in fact this was something that long chen had done back in the phoenix cry empire the kai gathering realm was the entry into cultivation and it was to use the will to mobilize the circulation of true kai however after cultivating for a while people could easily sense the circulation of true kai so they no longer thought of the will they no longer needed it long chen didn't expect that after his cultivation base had reached the immortal king realm he would actually return to the most basic thing of all this could be considered returning to the essence when released outside the will's foundation lay in sight hearing taste smell touch and perception this kind of energy was truly profound impossible to explain clearly currently it was like long chen was grasping tiny acupuncture needles with a numb hand his movements were clearly clumsy and awkward but having found the trick long chen was no longer anxious as time passed his control got better while long chen walked forward huo linger followed behind him absorbing the flame energy here she was like a dragon returning to the sea this flame energy was an endless feast for her when long chen reached the sixth step a ferocious beast suddenly attacked him i think you should take a look at inrid com chapter four thousand thirteen immemorial vermilion bird this wild beast was a flame tiger and its sharp claws smashed down toward long chen who seeing this long chen formed hand seals and an invisible shield appeared in front of him causing the tiger's claws to smash into it the shield then shattered but the tiger was also blown back using the will to block enemies long chen needed hand seals to do such a thing but the dragon races experts did not but in this aspect no one could help him long chen would need to grope around in the dark by himself when it came to this the next moment long chen's hand seals changed and an invisible sword shot toward the tiger to his surprise the tiger reacted very quickly it opened its mouth unleashing a wave of fire that struck the sword destroying it seeing this long chen snorted and his hand seals changed again forming eighteen swords that pierced toward the tiger boom the tiger was struck by the eighteen swords and exploded but as soon as it did it transformed into runes that reformed once more into the tiger attacking long chen again using only his will to defend and attack he then killed the tiger over ten times 
but it still refused to die. Time and time again, it reconstituted itself, its power not diminishing in the slightest. After fighting for an hour, Long Chen's head started to hurt. This was a symptom of using up too much of his will energy. As a result, Long Chen retreated to the first step to recuperate. After resting, he returned to fight the tiger again and found that the power of his will was no longer invisible. Instead, golden spots already appeared on it. Luckily, his will grew even stronger with these golden spots. Originally, his range was only 300 meters, but when those golden spots appeared, the range instantly spread to hundreds of miles. To Long Chen's surprise, refining his will didn't require the energy of his blood, kai, bones, spirit, and soul. After reaching a certain level, their energies were actually linked, mutually assisting each other. At this moment, a golden sword pierced through the flame tiger's body, blasting it apart. This tiger, which could originally endure dozens of attacks, was now unable to endure even a single blow in reed. Kam Long Chen was pleasantly surprised. This power was essentially giving him a domain that others couldn't sense. With his will, he could definitely kill his opponents without them being aware of it. The power of his will was extremely bizarre. It was like the power of a domain or pressure, yet also like a completely different concept. This Long Chen summoned a lightning domain or a flame domain. He could control everything within it. But switching to one of them took time, and in a battle, experts could sense the fluctuations of the domain to deduce the objective of the opponent. But a domain with the power of will. The power was based on what the heart willed, so they couldn't possibly defend against it. The drawback was that it was exhausting a great deal of mental energy. With Long Chen's mental energy, he could only fight using it for two hours. However, Long Chen was delighted to find that as this golden energy appeared, the power of his will rapidly grew. It was like the power of his soul was merging into it. The power of his human spirit and soul was originally intangible, but it had become tangible through cultivation. As for the power of his will, it was something that existed between the tangible and intangible. There was a miraculous connection between the three of them that couldn't be explained with words. When Long Chen reached the ninth step of this level, he saw various flame beasts that were incredibly powerful. They gave Long Chen immense pressure. But the greater the pressure, the stronger his will grew. As he constantly formed hand seals, thousands of golden swords appeared in the air, forming a sharp sword formation that forced back those beasts. They repeatedly exploded. Currently, Long Chen's wool could spread for 3,000 miles. In other words, within this domain, he could kill people with just his will. However, getting to the tenth step with just this power was very difficult because the ninth step's latter half was filled with beasts. Furthermore, every time he went back to rest, returning to his original location took a great deal of his newly recovered energy. Getting halfway through the ninth step already caused him to run out of this power, forcing him to go back and recuperate. After several attempts, Long Chen finally reached the tenth step, but as soon as he stepped onto it, before he even got a good look at his surroundings, he was already blasted away by a terrifying force. Just as Long Chen was forced back to the first step to recuperate, Yu Qingxuan and the others managed to reach the ninth level. Their speed was astonishing. After the tempering on the seventh and eighth levels, they were sharpened even more. Their gazes were as sharp as a sword now. Even Yu Qingxuan's aura had changed. She was still warm and gentle, but there was now a firm sharpness deep within her eyes. She was like a sheathed sword. However, once this sword was unsheathed, its sharpness could cut down the river of stars. Furthermore, Long Chen could sense particularly powerful flame fluctuations from her. That was the aura of the heavenly rainbow flame. It seemed 
that this trial had caused the heavenly rainbow flame to start displaying the divine power possessed by the rank nine heavenly flame once everyone arrived long chen explained the situation here and brought them onward whom ju yunwen slashed his sword blasting apart an invisible sword that had just begun condensing his movements were quick and at ease beautiful long chen praised him ju yunwen was now a true expert and that one blow showed his true power ju yunwen smiled when he received long chen's praise long chen's acknowledgment was the greatest encouragement to him although they hadn't seen long chen's display the fact that he was constantly ahead of them showed that his power was unfathomable no matter how strong they grew they knew there was a gap between them and long chen thus long chen's praise was the greatest encouragement for them feeling reinvigorated by his praise they continued to push onward when they reached the sixth step and encountered the flame beasts the pressure instantly rose and their progress slowed down but by working together they still managed to charge through of course compared to when long chen advanced on his own these flame beasts were much weaker perhaps less than a tenth of when long chen fought them just like that over eight hundred thousand imperial disciples working together managed to reach the ninth step but the endless army of flame beasts here was too strong for them and finally forced them back to their surprise though as they all were about to fall back a golden barrier blocked those flame beasts no matter how the latter tore at the barrier they were unable to get through this is if everyone was startled by this no one could use magical arts or channel the laws of the heavenly dows in this place as it rejected all kinds of energy here they could only use their most basic core flame energy to fight thus when they saw long chen form hand seals they were dumbfounded they couldn't even speak long chen was able to ignore the laws here in truth the will domain that he summoned came from within himself he didn't need to draw energy from heaven and earth furthermore this kind of energy was not restricted by this place so it was only natural that he could use it long chen summoned a barrier that gave them time to rest once they were mostly recovered he led them to the tenth step but when they reached the tenth step a deafening explosion reverberated and flames erupted ascending skywards in a magnificent display gradually an immense head materialized right before their eyes taking shape in front of the entire group immemorial vermilion bird ju yunwen and the others instantly knelt on the ground when they saw that head in read com chapter four thousand fourteen corroborate the heart this head was an embodiment of endless flames its fiery essence coalescing into a majestic form within this magnificent display of flames two eyes blazed like glorious suns illuminating the entire sky with their brilliance at the same time a sacred might shook the world and an unbending will rose it was the immemorial vermilion bird the true vermilion bird everyone knelt on the ground leaving only long chen standing there right now the immemorial vermilion bird looked at long chen and long chen looked straight back at it he now understood why he had been forced back last time only those with faith in the vermilion bird could activate the tenth step and summon the immemorial vermilion bird actually it was just a heroic spirit the spirit of the vermilion bird which the vermilion bird empire worshipped as long as their faith energy was not extinguished the heroic spirit would live for eternity suddenly long chen saw a light woman figure on top of the fiery head her hair was tied up in a high bun but he couldn't see her face clearly however he could feel her sacred and noble aura flame energy swirled around her like mist making her appear very mysterious senior what do you need from me spoke that woman suddenly senior long chen jumped in fright 
this immemorial vermilion bird actually called him senior, Long Chen had no idea how to respond to this. I hope that you can use the will of the vermilion bird to help him corroborate his heart. The dragon expert's voice rang out. So the vermilion bird wasn't talking to Long Chen, but to the dragon expert. That shocked Long Chen even more. This woman could see the dragon expert. Furthermore, the dragon expert seemed to recognize this woman. I will follow Senior's wish then. The woman bowed slightly. Suddenly, this world quivered and the vermilion bird vanished. After that, the gate slowly opened. We've passed. The imperial disciples cheered. After so many trials, they had finally succeeded. Long Chen, we succeeded. Yu Qingxuan held Long Chen's hand excitedly. However, Long Chen's expression was odd. He felt like things couldn't be so simple. But everyone else was excited, so he didn't feel right extinguishing their hope. He simply followed everyone through the gate. As soon as they passed through the gate, though, everything turned black. This was not the Imperial Palace, but a world where they couldn't even see their own fingers when they waved their hands in front of them. As they couldn't see anything, the fear of the unknown welled up within them. This is the little black room, cried out Q Kain Ksu in fright. This familiar feeling was instantly recognized by her. This meant that they hadn't passed the trial by fire. Instead, they had entered an even more frightening trial. Fear instantly enveloped everyone, triggering something primal from the depths of their soul. Some people said that darkness was nothing frightening, it was death that was frightening. However, some also said that darkness was the most frightening thing, and that death was eternal darkness. Darkness was an invisible oppressive hand that slowly stripped them of everything they had. Your family, your love, and even your life. In front of it, you had no ability to resist. You could only watch as everything you had was stripped away from you. Perhaps it wasn't darkness that was frightening, but rather the feeling of utter powerlessness to fight against it. This overwhelming sensation was what could easily cause a person to crumble. To a cultivator who cultivated to protect themselves, this darkness rendered all that effort seemingly worthless. Take it slowly. I'll wait for you up ahead. Just as everyone was overwhelmed by fear, Long Chen's calm voice rang out, still brimming with confidence. Just like that, it was like a lantern had been illuminated within this darkness, expelling the fear in their hearts. They then heard Long Chen's footsteps continuing deeper, so they advanced steadily, without any panic. Their hearts stabilized. If Big Brother can do it, I can do it too. I will take the vanguard. Everyone follow me. Du Yifen clenched his teeth. Summoning his courage, he stepped deeper into the darkness. The path was still the same old path like the previous nine levels. The bricks on the ground guided them in the right direction, so there was no way they would get lost. However, within this endless darkness and terror, within this place where countless negative emotions bloomed, every single step was difficult to take. Only Long Chen felt no fear of this endless darkness. Instead, he felt a sense of peace akin to taking a stroll. He quickly reached the tenth step of the tenth level. After passing through the gate, he found that the darkness here was even heavier, and he also heard various voices. It felt like he could hear people laughing and roaring angrily around him. All kinds of sounds came out to disturb him. However, these sounds were unable to rattle Long Chen's heart. He was like a passer-by, and whether those voices rang out right beside his ear or far off in the distance, he ignored them. Long Chen knew that the eleventh level was a trial to people's wills. That was precisely what Zhu Yifen and the other imperial disciples needed the most. But to Long Chen, it caused no difficulty at all. His heart devil was still sealed, so his heart was bright and clear without a hint of fear. 
Perhaps this environment was a terrifying trial for the others, but it didn't affect Long Chen at all. He then passed the eleventh level and went straight to the twelfth level. From this point on, strange sights also materialized to test him. Long Chen could vaguely hear his father and mother calling to him. At the same time, he saw various scenes in the Phoenix Cry Empire. After that, the people that he had slain came back to demand his life in revenge. Some of them even cried and begged him to forgive them. Long Chen suddenly paused and looked at these images. The formation here could actually peer into his heart and drag out memories hidden within him. Long Chen smiled slightly, but his eyes welled up. He saw the old man, Jianying, Ling Yunzi, Hu Feng, and the five sovereigns. Previously, Long Chen had sealed these memories deep within him, not daring to look through them. But now that they were dragged out by the formation, Long Chen felt a well of emotions surge within him. If his heart devil was still present, this would be the most dangerous state for him to be in. But now Long Chen viewed these memories like a diary. Eventually, Long Chen sighed and continued onward. When he reached the tenth step, another gate appeared. On the other side of this gate was the thirteenth level. Long Chen had a premonition that this would be the final level. When Long Chen reached the gate, it slowly lit up and that woman once more appeared. She was wrapped in flames and exuded a sacred aura, illuminating this dark world. When she materialized, the figures and voices within the darkness all vanished. This world once more became bright. Senior has asked me to help you corroborate your heart. That is overestimating me. Your heart is already clear and bright, so there's no need for me to be so meddlesome. However, since Senior has entrusted this task to me, I will ask you a few questions. You cannot take time to consider them and must answer immediately. Can you do that? asked the woman. Senior, please go ahead. Long Chen then took a deep breath and became serious. He knew that the dragon expert never did anything superfluous, so there had to be a deeper meaning to this. In read Calm Chapter 4015 Passing the Trial Why Are You Not Afraid of the Dark? asked the woman. Why would I have to be afraid of it? asked Long Chen. The woman paused, seemingly not expecting this. She continued, Why do you like the dark? Long Chen didn't hesitate and directly said, Because I am used to the dark. When I was bullied and humiliated without the power to fight back, this world of despair had no pity for me. No one had mercy, no one helped me, and no one was willing to accompany me. Only the darkness never rejected me. No matter what grievances I had, the darkness was willing to silently listen to my complaints. Even if the entire world abandons me, it will always silently accompany me. It will never reject me. Its arms will always be open to me. When I hadn't set foot onto the path of cultivation, within my world, only the darkness was my friend. In its embrace, I silently wept and nursed my wounds. I only left it when I was strong enough. When I fought until I was covered in wounds, it was my greatest comfort because I knew that it was waiting for me. If it treated me like this, why would I fear it? Why would I not like it? The woman continued, You have experienced darkness, and you have experienced light. Which one do you like more? I like them both, and dislike them both, said Long Chen with a bitter smile. Then what do you think is the boundary between light and dark? There is no boundary. There is light in darkness, and darkness in light. So that's the case. The woman seemed to comprehend something. She said, Your principle is correct. This world has no absolute black and no absolute white. There is no absolute good or absolute evil. But you must remember, there is a boundary between them. There is a yardstick to measure right and wrong. That boundary... That yardstick, it is like a judge that can determine right and wrong. Long Chen asked, Is that judge really impartial? 
who can guarantee that its judgment is correct. That is related to a certain thing, the scales of the heavens. It is the foundation that maintains the balance between the ten thousand dows and laws. Between black and white, right and wrong, good and evil, movement and stillness, corporeal and incorporeal, between any two opposing forces, there is always a scale as a foundation. To use your human race's principles, it is the principle of the Tao gives birth to one, one births two, two births three, and three births all things. All things in this world both restrain and support each other. Using that as an inference, where there is yin, there must be yang. Where there is life, there must be death. Where there is good, there must be evil. Where there is movement, there must be stillness. Where there is purity, there is impurity. However, between yin and yang, life and death, good and evil, movement and stillness, purity and impurity, there is a mysterious energy separating them. One and two are diametrical. But with three, one and two began to flow together, and the two kinds of energy formed a cycle. Only then was our world born. Long Chen was shaken, feeling like a bolt of lightning had just struck his mind. He felt like he was seeing an unprecedented world. If it is the scales that are the three, then, by mixing two opposite powers, is it possible to possess the power of creation? asked Long Chen, his voice quivering. In principle, that is the case. But in reality, you are overthinking it. The grand Tao cannot be spoken. Any principles that can be spoken clearly with the mouth are not the true grand Tao. Thus, the grand Tao that we speak of is only the ordinary Tao. If the true mysteries of heaven and earth are ever exposed, then either the nine heavens will collapse or the ten worlds will be reborn. Many thanks, senior. Long Chen respectfully bowed to this woman. These words had essentially opened a window for Long Chen, letting him see an unknown world. Now, Long Chen understood why the dragon expert had asked her to enlighten him. Her realm was truly high. The woman nodded, and her body transformed into flames that slowly dissipated. After that, Long Chen simply sat in front of the gate and slowly formed hand seals. Mu. Golden scales covered Long Chen's body as his blood, kai, and bones ignited. Their power was like erupting volcanoes. The darkness that had returned to this world once the woman left now went away because of Long Chen. On the tenth level, everyone was taking laborious breaths in the pitch black world. They felt like their wills were about to crumble. Within the darkness, countless negative emotions constantly invaded them. All their painful and bitter experiences were shown to them over and over again. It felt like there was an invisible wall in front of them that was blocking their progress. That wall caused them to despair. Due to it, they couldn't see the light or hope. They could only see despair. At first, Zhu Yunwen and the others were still encouraging them. Hearing the encouragement from Zhu Yunwen and the others, the imperial disciples were still able to endure. However, toward the end, other than their own breathing and heartbeats, they couldn't hear anything else. It was as if everyone else was gone, as though they were alone in the abyss of death. They called to the heavens and got no response. They called to the earth, but it was silent. When they reached the last step, the darkness was even stronger. Long Chen hadn't even sensed the change due to how close he felt to the darkness. But everyone else found it difficult to endure. Even Zhu Yunwen and the others were starting to hear voices. Suddenly, they saw light. Through the cracks in the gate before them, they saw golden light. It's Long Chen. Yu Qingxuan cried out excitedly. Hearing this, everyone was instantly revitalized. Long Chan was waiting for them up ahead, so victory was in sight. In an instant, they charged through to the eleventh level. There they heard various voices, and it wasn't just in their imagination. 
However, they ignored the voices, focused their minds, and continued toward the light. Boom! Suddenly, there was an explosive sound, causing them all to cry out in alarm. After that, the light vanished, and the darkness returned. At this moment, Long Chen was coughing up blood, and cracks covered his body. Within the darkness, he looked at his own hands and smiled. He he, I've found it. The blood kai and bones are corporeal, while the spirit, soul, and will are also corporeal. They are only incorporeal on the outside. The crux of the dragon soul body forging art is to balance the corporeal and the incorporeal with the mind. It is the foundation of the scales, the three of the grand Tao. After resting an hour, Long Chen shouted and the golden light once more appeared, exploding out of him. At the same time, a resplendent dragon cry rang throughout the entire vermilion bird space. Long Chen's dragon scales began to ripple as if they were breathing. Formless spiritual and mental energy then, mixed with the power of his flesh and blood, no longer separable. Success! The dragon expert roared in excitement. It was even more excited than Long Chen. As for Long Chen, the moment he merged his corporeal power with his incorporeal power, he felt his body suddenly swell. It felt like it was about to burst. Cloud Dragon Immolation Claw Long Chen let out a roar and slammed his claw at the gate. If he didn't unleash this power, he would explode. Boop! That giant gate crumbled. The next moment, space twisted and Long Chen and the others appeared in the palace once more. We're, we're out. Zhu Yunwen and the others almost couldn't believe their eyes. They had completed the trial by fire. Excellent, you're finally out. Hurry to the battlefield. The Vermilion Bird Empire is in crisis. As soon as they appeared, they heard an ancient voice in their minds. In read, Com Chapter 4016, rushing to the battlefield upon hearing this, everyone's heart trembled, and they swiftly set aside their joy at passing the trial. After all, the Vermilion Bird Empire was embroiled in a fierce war. Everyone, your servant has been waiting a long time. Please prepare yourselves and hurry to the battlefield. Just then, Yuna Chui appeared. The current Yuna Chui no longer had any of his previous hotness. When he looked at Long Chen, there was even a hint of reverence in his eyes. Yuna Chui, what is the current situation? Where are the emperor and empresses? Asked Yu Qingxuan worriedly. For them to not be present along with any other powerful experts, it was clear that the situation was not good. The eight empires have launched their attacks, so His Majesty and the Empresses have gone to the various battlefields to defend our territories. The situation is critical. I also wished to go to the battlefield, but I am not strong enough to have much use, so I was left here to wait for you, said Yunachwai shamefully. In truth, Yunachwai could be counted as an expert. Although his cultivation base was only in the half-step divine venerate realm, due to cutting off a certain thing in his youth, he had refined his kai quite a bit, making him much stronger than the average experts. However, in front of the princes and princesses, he now appeared minuscule. They had completely transformed, and Yuna Chui could only look up at them. Brother Long, what do you think? Ju Yunwen turned to Long Chen. After this trial, Long Chen had completely won their hearts. They would listen to him. Yuna Chui, tell me the situation. Everyone, rest for two hours. Remember, you only have two hours. Recover all the energy that the little black room took. What awaits us is a true bloody battlefield, said Long Chen. Everyone, including Zhu Yunwen, Yu Kaingsu, and the others, immediately sat and entered a meditated state. Being in the little black room had severely drained their willpower. Hence, they had to recover that energy, or their power would be greatly affected on the battlefield. Seeing Zhu Yunwen and the others follow Long Chen's orders, Yuna Chui was shaken. As a result, 
when Long Chen looked at him, his heart trembled and he hastily reported the situation. The Eight Empires had originally only surrounded the Vermilion Bird Empire, but fifteen days ago they suddenly pressed forward, laying siege to the Empire's eight crucial border cities. These cities formed the backbone of the Empire's defenses, and their loss would result in a collapse of the entire defense system, rendering their formations ineffective. It was because these eight cities were connected to the karmic vein of the Vermilion Bird Empire. If they were destroyed, it would rattle the very foundation of the Empire. If the Empire's karmic luck was damaged, then in the future, the Vermilion Bird Empire would definitely decline. Perhaps even without the eight empires attacking, the Vermilion Bird Empire would simply decline on its own, fading away entirely. The eight armies stood over the cities, each commanded by a three-flower earth venerate. To confront such formidable forces, the Vermilion Bird Empire needed experts of equal power. It was evident that this was yet another probing strike, testing the empire's strength and preparedness. Hence, the Vermilion Bird Empire had to respond and show their power. Only with enough power could they shake the other side. Originally, on the surface, the Vermilion Bird Empire only possessed three three-flower earth venerates. They were Yu Zioan, Jiang Huixin, and Zhu Langxin. As the eight empires crossed the border, a surprising turn of events unfolded. Five additional three flower earth venerates emerged from within the Vermilion Bird Empire, and among them was the patriarch of the royal family. Witnessing the gravity of the situation, the emperor and empresses themselves took up positions to defend the cities, and even the patriarch didn't hesitate to join the defense. It was evident that the Vermilion Bird Empire had mobilized its entire might in response to the imminent threat. As for the eight empires, their leaders had yet to personally descend upon the battlefield, which showed just how disadvantageous things were for the Vermilion Bird Empire. The Vermilion Bird Empire had already brought out everything it had, while the eight empires had only brought out a fraction of their forces. From this, it was clear who had the advantage. Most vexing of all was that countless people inside the empire were fanning the flames, intentionally spreading rumors to disturb the people's hearts, encouraging them to surrender and give up. During times of crisis, bad people always jumped out first. Those fake scholars in particular finally had a chance to write all kinds of stories and fake news, sowing as many negative emotions as they could. Most hateful of all, some people even took the lead in carrying out vandalism. With the interior of the empire in chaos and them pressing down from the exterior of the empire, their enemies gradually inched closer and closer to victory. The Vermilion Bird Empire was like a dam holding back a river, but the rebels were like termites eating away at the dam, leaving giant holes. Merely three days ago, Traitors from within the Vermilion Bird Empire had led small squads from the eight empires through unguarded gaps in the border and infiltrated the empire's territory. With the bulk of the empire's forces stationed at the crucial eight border cities, they couldn't be swiftly redeployed. Thus, they had no choice but to rely on other available forces to handle the invaders who had stealthily sneaked in. As a result, the Vermilion Bird Empire's forces were split. While they had gathered a force to confront the infiltrators, their plans were leaked, leading to a disastrous outcome. The force meant to counter the invaders fell into an ambush orchestrated by the eight empire's forces. This setback further strained the empire's defense and made it evident that their enemies were skilled in exploiting their vulnerabilities and internal discord. In just a short three days, thousands of small skirmishes had been fought, and the Vermilion Bird Empire had lost hundreds of thousands of experts. When that news was spread, it fanned the flames. It felt like the Vermilion Bird Empire was on the verge of collapse, pausing the residents of the empire to panic. Due to this, 
a growing number of people revolted and changed sides, exacerbating the turmoil within the Vermilion Bird Empire. In the end, the situation spiraled out of control and no one could stop it. Hearing Yunuch Wai narrate this, Long Chan nodded. That was about what he had predicted. After all, a battle between empires was different from battles between people. When it came to wars between empires, it was rarely hatred that drove them. Instead, it was profit. In other words, the eight empires simply wanted to consume the Vermilion Bird Empire for profit. However, in order to get the greatest profit, they had to lower the costs, and using mental warfare to throw the empire's people into chaos was such an excellent method. As long as the interior crumbled, the eight empires' main forces wouldn't even need to do anything. Just through intimidation, they could take over the Vermilion Bird Empire. When people couldn't see any hope, they would definitely leave. In the end, all that would be left was the royal family. At that time, they would be cut off from help, and no one would be able to save the empire in Reed. Come, they would either have a deathbed struggle or just dejectedly leave. Even if a battle was unavoidable in the end, with all eight empires joining forces, destroying the royal family would definitely not cost that much. Wars between empires were sometimes just that simple. Using overwhelming power was the best tactic. To use the old man's words, in front of absolute power, all schemes are meaningless. At this moment, Yu Qingxuan and the others woke up after two hours of recovery. They were at 70 to 80 percent power. Long Chen, let us rush to the battlefield, said Yu Qingxuan, feeling worried about her parents. We will be going to the battlefield. But it is not the Vermilion Bird Empire's battlefield, said Long Chen. Then where are we going? Everyone was startled and confused the Violet Thunderclap Empire. We will destroy their imperial city. Long Chen smiled sinisterly, declaring his target word by word. In Reed, Calm Chapter 4017, huge treasure, a giant flying boat slowly flew through the air. At this moment, countless runes flowed on top of the flying boat, reflecting the appearance of the sky. From the ground, this flying boat was completely invisible. With its slow speed, it made no sound and caused no air currents. Thus, no one would sense its existence. This was the special invisible flying boat that Guo Ran had made. The first time they reunited again, in order to show off, he directly gave it to Long Chen. But this was Long Chen's first time actually using it. With it, Long Chen and the others secretly arrived at the border without anyone being the wiser. They avoided the sentries of the Heavenly Ruler Seal Empire and headed directly for the Violet Thunderclap Empire that was behind it. Originally, Long Chen's plan was to lead them to the eight battlegrounds. However, he then had a thought. Right now, their power was an absolute secret, so why not carry out a surprise raid? The Vermilion Bird Empire might appear to be in a crisis, but their enemies were mostly only intimidating them. They hadn't reached the point of a bloody clash. If they were to do such a thing, the eight empires would lose many soldiers as well. That wasn't what they wanted. On the other hand, considering the Vermilion Bird Empire's preparations for them to be so flustered, it was clear that it was intentional. Thus, he decided to do something big. As the flying boat slowly flew through the air, everyone took advantage of this time to recuperate. Long Chen himself left the flying boat to Yu Qingxuan to control while he entered his meditation state. He had reached an initial level of control over the dragon's soul body forging art. The only problem left was that this technique was not the dragon race's dragon blood body tempering art. After all, there was a large difference between the two. Right now, Long Chen's dragon soul body forging art was still in an embryonic form, but it was already very hard to use. Long Chen had to use his mind to balance his blood, kai, and bones with his spirit, soul, and will. 
As for the mind, that was what the dragon expert called it, but Long Chen felt that it shouldn't be called that. This power should be called something else, yet he was unable to think of a word for it. In any case, the foundation of this technique was to balance the corporeal and incorporeal power within someone, producing a more primal force. Long Chen also didn't know what kind of word to call this force. It was all very profound and mysterious, beyond his current scope of understanding. Right now, the main problem lay in the fact that after he learned the dragon soul body forging art, whenever he summoned the dragon blood battle armor, it put an extremely heavy strain on his body. When Long Chen's claw attack shattered the trial gate, endless power also exploded out of his body, leaving him in a weakened state afterward. That was completely different from what he had anticipated. The dragon blood battle armor was a state that he could fight in for a long time. But now, he could only use it for one attack. There had to be a problem somewhere. Senior, what is going on? Even after thinking about it for a long time, Long Chen was still lost, so he asked the dragon expert for aid. The dragon expert seemed to be pondering the question as well, and it eventually said, I asked the vermilion bird expert to give you enlightenment because the vermilion bird has a close connection with the human race. It knows how to communicate with the human race. On the other hand, our dragon race relies on our bloodline and memory inheritance for many things. We don't record things on paper or pass things down with word of mouth. Anyway, you've already grasped the right path, so you should figure it out yourself. There are some things that I understand but cannot explain clearly. If I were to try to explain, you might misunderstand. It's like a chicken talking with a duck. It would be troublesome if you were to misunderstand. Since you've already figured out the general embryonic form, you should slowly think it over yourself. Hearing the explanation, Long Chen thought about it. That was reasonable. The dragon race's inheritances were very simple and crude, completely different from the human race's inheritances. When it came to the dragon soul body forging art, the dragon expert's explanation was different from Long Chen's comprehension of the technique in many areas. If Long Chen one day figured out the complete dragon soul body forging art, it would probably have deviated from the original and become its own peerless technique. Since there was no actual answer, Long Chen could only continue to grope around in the dark. Luckily, after condensing the corporeal and incorporeal power, he quickly found the crux of the problem. When these two powers merged, they began to clash against each other. As a result, the explosive utilization of these merged forces intensified the clash even further, leading to an even greater percentage of their energies colliding. So to put it frankly, this is the result of my scale not being stable enough. I am unable to fully isolate and control the two sides, causing their merger to be chaotic. Although it allows me to unleash explosive power, these two forces end up cancelling each other out. But where does that cancelled energy go? They should remain in my body, right? Long Chen then tried again. To his surprise, he found that when these two powers cancelled each other out, they simply vanished, as if something had stolen them away. Can power really just vanish like that? Long Chen was startled. It was like he was once more a rookie on the martial heaven continent. The dragon expert's dragon soul body forging art left him dumbfounded. When cold ice met red hot iron, it would become steam. But when Long Chen's powers cancelled themselves out, they just silently vanished. There was no reason to speak of. Ugh, this is beyond my knowledge. Long Chen was truly befuddled this time. But since he couldn't figure it out, he just stopped thinking about it. He simply worked on increasing his control through the use of this so-called mind aspect. Through repeated attempts, his control over the different forces gradually grew. It was a simple case of practice makes perfect. Sometimes, 
there were principles that the mind couldn't understand but the body would in the same vein this dragon soul body forging art had toppled long chen's previous understanding of cultivation previously long chen had thought that martial techniques required comprehension first and only after enlightenment and practice could one truly control a refined technique however now he found that some things were just randomly learned randomly trained and then randomly mastered he himself didn't even know how he had learned this technique hence long chen truly believed the dragon expert when it said that it was unable to explain clearly with words this technique had opened a door to an unknown world for long chen not only did long chen gain a deeper understanding of power but he felt like he saw a multicolored radiance of another world that radiance was something that he had never encountered before we've arrived at the border of the violet thunderclap empire whispered yu kingshuan a lightning barrier had appeared in front of them this was the violet thunderclap empire's city defense once they got close they would immediately be sensed it was just like the vermilion bird empire's flame barrier lei linger called out long chin leave it to me lei linger's figure appeared when the flying boat touched the lightning barrier lightning wrapped around it causing it to merge into the barrier and pass through without any alarm ringing they easily slipped their way into the violet thunderclap empire big brother long chen i can sense that this place has a huge treasure inside as soon as they passed through the barrier lei linger suddenly cried out excitedly in read com chapter four thousand eighteen immemorial lightning beast the violet thunderclap empire was vast with a long history in terms of territory it was actually even larger than the vermilion bird empire moreover the violet thunderclap empire was the strongest of the empires around although they often had conflicts with the vermilion bird empire they didn't actually border each other thus the violet thunderclap empire chose to join forces with the empires surrounding the vermilion bird empire to put pressure on them regardless of whether they employed brute force or cunning tactics guided by the violet thunderclap empire the eight empires relentlessly created obstacles for the vermilion bird empire as for the root of the violet thunderclap empire's enmity with the vermilion bird empire it was a secret it seemed to relate to some ancient secret and outsiders didn't know in any case the violet thunderclap empire and the vermilion bird empire had fought for countless years without any true large-scale wars erupting between them thus no one knew why the violet thunderclap empire's pressure on the vermilion bird empire would suddenly grow increasingly violent over the past few years as a result they gradually reached the point of no return as the violet thunderclap empire continuously grew their pressure grew as well to make things worse the surrounding empires that could be said to have somewhat friendly relationships with the vermilion bird empire all became allied with the violet thunderclap empire even the heavenly ruler seal empire which had been saved from crisis several times by the vermilion bird empire joined the dark side the most satirical part of it was that yu Zioyan's ancestor had once saved the heavenly ruler seal empire from the violet thunderclap empire the ninety-seventh generation monarch of the violet thunderclap empire had tried to devour the heavenly ruler seal empire only to be stopped by the vermilion bird empire however now the heavenly ruler seal empire seemed to have forgotten history and the aid that the vermilion bird empire had given them they were now the violet thunderclap empire's subordinates their most loyal dogs that bit at the vermilion bird empire's legs when long chen and the others snuck their way into the violet thunderclap empire they found that its cities were more numerous and flourishing than the vermilion bird empires furthermore every city emitted divine radiance mixed with thunder force to form a powerful defense they were on a tight lockdown what's going on do they know that we're here why are they prepared for us 
exclaimed Zhu Yaifeng. Even they didn't dare to think that Long Chen would bring them here, so it was inconceivable that their enemies would be prepared for such a thing. Impossible. They would never think that we'd sneak attack them. According to what they know, the Vermilion Bird Empire has used up all their power just by defending, and those forces are tied down. There is no force capable of sneak attacking them. Also, the Vermilion Bird Empire wouldn't take the risk of attacking in their critical state, especially when the attackers would have to pass through two barriers to reach this place. They are not prepared for us, said Long Chen. But look at them. Zhu Yifen and the others stared at the cities that had rampant thunder force around them. They could not think of any other reason for this. Ignore it. We're still going forward. So maintain your peak condition. Be ready for battle at any moment, said Long Chen. The flying boat continued to fly forward slowly, and they saw countless cities covered in thunder force. However, they gradually came to realize that the people inside the cities looked very relaxed. They didn't seem to be wary of an attack. They also noticed that there seemed to be some kind of specific sequence to the cities. They vaguely sensed some kind of energy flowing beneath the ground. Those energy fluctuations were small, but they gradually grew as they went deeper into the empire. It was like tiny streams were gathering into a powerful current underground. After all, Long Chen and the others were moving toward the capital of the Violet Thunderclap Empire. That was precisely where this energy was flowing to. Could it be that they are preparing some big move? Wondered Yu Qingxuan. That is the most likely case. But we'll only know what it is once we see it, said Long Chen. Long Chen hadn't expected to inadvertently find such a thing. The only reason that he had chosen the Violet Thunderclap Empire was because Lei Lingder possessed two of the Violet Thunderclap Empire's princess treasures. With their help, it would be easy to pass through their barriers. Furthermore, with the two of them as probing tools, it would be even easier to get around. Fortunately, Lei Linger had already nourished both of them with her core energy. Both of them were completely loyal to Lei Linger now. Long Chen then had Lei Linger summon the two of them and try to communicate with them. He wanted to know more secrets of the Violet Thunderclap Empire. They told her that the Violet Thunderclap Empire had four national treasures, with the Wild Blade and the Lightning Tower being two of them. The others were a bell and a sword, and these four divine weapons were like four keys that could open the seal beneath the Violet Thunderclap Empire. What lay beneath the seal was a slumbering immemorial lightning beast. The Violet Thunderclap Empire seemed to be attempting to awaken that slumbering beast, but due to lacking two of their national treasures, they needed to borrow other power. Hence, they were using the power of the entire empire to forcibly awaken that beast even without two of the necessary keys. Immemorial Lightning Beast Is it to counter the Vermilion Bird Empire's Immemorial Vermilion Bird? Long Chen's heart shook. He instantly thought of that woman in the vermilion bird space. If that was the case, then this lightning beast had to be an astonishing existence. It had to at least be on the same level as that woman. Long Chen had sensed that woman's terrifying pressure, so he knew that she was a legendary existence. In front of her, three flower earth venerates were nothing. Then we'll have to be a bit more careful. No, no. Lay Linger, can we consume this piece of meat? asked Long Chen. I don't know, but I want those other two divine weapons. With their assistance, we should have a chance, said Lay Linger. Ha ha ha, good, then let's go big. Long Chen laughed excitedly. If Lay Linger could subdue that lightning beast, this war really would be interesting. The Imperial City was covered by a giant lightning whirlpool, which also protected this entire region. At the center was a pillar of lightning that poured into the vortex, injecting endless power into it. The whirlpool was continuously growing. Big Brother Long Chen, wait a moment. Lei Linger suddenly cried out, 
so long chen hastily stopped the flying boat after that lei linger formed hand seals summoning a saber and a lightning tower in her palms with a light wave the wild blade and lightning tower vanished an instant sticks worth of time later four figures appeared on lei linger's palms they were a saber a sword a bell and a tower success lei linger cried out excitedly she had had the wild blade and lightning tower communicate with the other two divine weapons unexpectedly they had succeeded so quickly it was practically effortless just then the lightning whirlpool quivered and long chen's flying boat instantly vanished appearing above the nine heavens following that the flying boat slowly descended through the whirlpool at the center going against the flow lightning then wrapped around the flying boat concealing it within the current this current was overseen by those two divine weapons now that they were also lay lingers loyal followers with four divine weapons working together they easily entered the core of the imperial palace when the flying boat was close to the ground long chen's heart shook he saw a person seated in the air wang Tebei. long chen was startled he hadn't expected wang Tebei to be personally standing guard over this place when long chen saw wang Tebei, wang Tebei's eyes flew open his gaze as sharp as a sword he then looked in long chen's direction not good we've been noticed in read come chapter four thousand nineteen lightning sea sacrificial altar long chen and the others hearts clenched if they were noticed in this state wouldn't they be instantly caught like a fish in a net however wang Tebe simply looked at the pillar of lightning and didn't move instead he took out a formation disc empire lord how much longer asked an elder beside wang Tebe this person was the elder that had accompanied wang chaniao to the vermilion bird empire in other words it was wang chaniao's master the lightning pillar's color has deepened things are progressing well in at most seven days we can awaken the immemorial lightning beast said wang Tebe. long chen and the others instantly relaxed when they heard this it was fine as long as they weren't noticed however with wang Tebe staring so intently at the lightning pillar they didn't dare to move they just had lay linger maintain their disguise hmph once the immemorial lightning beast comes out who will dare to fight us after so many years of offerings the immemorial lightning beast can definitely rival the immemorial vermilion bird when all eight empires bring out their immemorial divine beasts no matter how powerful the vermilion bird is it still won't be a match for all of them there's simply no doubt to the vermilion bird empire's destruction said wang tianyao's master darkly however we cannot be careless Yu Zioyan is just an idiot that we don't need to consider, but his two empresses are crafty and cunning. They are not so easy to deal with. How are things going over there? asked Wang Tebe. Everything is under control. The Vermilion Bird Empire has long since lost their sharpness. Over the past few years, their focus on martial arts declined, and their interior is a mess right now also a portion of their people are on our side while another portion is just waiting and watching our arrangements throughout the vermilion bird empire are essentially complete we are prepared for everything and just have to take this final step long chen's heart shook yet another grand plot but he still didn't know what this plot was Blood. in any case just don't be careless said wang Tebe empire lord we have steadily seized victory why are you so cautious asked the elder wang Tebe seemed particularly careful this time as if he didn't dare to have anything go the slightest bit off wang Tebe stared at the lightning whirlpool for a long time before finally saying i don't know i keep feeling a bit uneasy as if some great tribulation is about to descend empire lord you're worrying for nothing. 
Perhaps if our violet thunderclap empire were to challenge the vermilion bird empire alone, we wouldn't know who would win. But with all eight empires joining forces against them, they have no chance. Those empires also know what the consequences of failure are, so they'll definitely bring out their full power. Furthermore, we have so many backup plans. The vermilion bird empire's destruction is set in stone said the elder i know however for some reason i still feel worried in any case we have no other stuff to do at this point being careful is nothing bad go take a look at the situation in the other empires you must keep up a tense atmosphere or they'll start skimping there can be no slip-ups at this point ordered wang Tebe. yes the elder assented and left but he had a slightly odd expression. He felt like Wang Tebe was overthinking things. For the eight empires to join forces against the Vermilion Bird Empire, there shouldn't be any suspense at all. If they were too cautious, the other empires might secretly look down on the Violet Thunderclap Empire. It had to be known that the Violet Thunderclap Empire displayed an even greater force than the Vermilion Bird Empire on the surface. Thus, for Wing Tebe to be so cautious showed that even after joining forces with the other empires, the Violet Thunderclap Empire was still afraid of the Vermilion Bird Empire. It had to be known that the reason the other seven empires dared to cause trouble for the Vermilion Bird Empire was entirely because of the backing of the Violet Thunderclap Empire. They all thought that the Violet Thunderclap Empire was stronger than the Vermilion Bird Empire. What Wang Tebe didn't know was that this mission he had entrusted to Wang Tianyao's master was treated as nothing. This elder only took a stroll through the other empires. At this moment, Wang Tebe stood in the air, personally overseeing things here. When his full attention was no longer focused on the lightning pillar, Lei Linger continued to control the thunder force and send the flying boat down the stream of lightning. The flying boat finally reached the ground where an underground palace resided. There was a giant space here, practically as large as the imperial city. At the core of this space was a giant sacrificial altar with a sword and bell floating beside it. Two empty spots could also be seen there. Clearly, this spot was jointly controlled by four divine weapons. Two of them had been taken by Lei Linger, leaving only behind the sword and bell. Endless lightning filled this space, forming a giant sea of lightning with the altar as its center. On the altar, a sphere of lightning contained a curled-up beast that emitted an immemorial aura. This beast looked to be some kind of lizard, and its scales were flickering with runes, emitting heaven-shaking power. Even through the lightning sphere, everyone could sense its terrifying power. It seems that this is the immemorial lightning beast. Long Chen was delighted to see it, while Yu Qingxuan and the others were not. This was an existence comparable to the immemorial vermilion bird, and the violet thunderclap empire was planning on using it to deal with them. Furthermore, from what they had heard, the eight empires actually planned to use all their trump cards at once, destroying the vermilion bird empire in one go. They apparently possessed more than one such beast. Originally, they had been preparing to show their power after coming out of the Vermilion Bird's trial by fire. However, this one beast was like a bucket of cold water over their heads. Now, they felt a chill from the top of their heads to the tips of their toes. An existence like this was not something that they could fight, causing their high spirits to instantly vanish. Lei Linger, what do you think? asked Long Chen. Lei Linger eyed the immemorial lightning beast greedily. After that, she formed some hand seals, and the four divine weapon images on her palm constantly revolved. It seemed that she was calculating something. Big brother Long Chen, give me some time. I can consume it, declared Lei Linger. Wang Tebe said that it would be done in seven days. Can you do it? Seven days should be enough. Leave it to me. After saying that, 
Len Lingertrans formed into a lightning dragon and slowly merged into the lightning sea, stealthily getting close to that beast. While Lei Linger dealt with the immemorial lightning beast, Long Chen had the flying boat follow the guidance of the wild blade and the lightning tower to a gate beneath the sea of lightning. The gate slowly opened. When they saw what was inside, Yu Qingxuan and the others let out startled cries while Long Chen's eyes glowed. We've struck gold. In read, Com Chapter 4020 Blue Flame Voracious Wolf, when the gate opened, what was reflected in everyone's eyes was an uncountable number of treasures. There were even battleships and war chariots lined up in neat rows. Behind them was a stack of crystals. Seeing them, Zhu Yunwen and the others, eyes almost popped out of their sockets. Lightning thunderclap battleships, lightning thunderclap war chariots, heavenly lightning crystals. Having fought the violet thunderclap empire for countless years, the Vermilion Bird Empire was aware of their strongest instruments of war. Their lightning thunderclap battleships and lightning thunderclap war chariots were not just quick as lightning, but their attacks also contained immense thunder force. It was almost equivalent to the full power attack of a double supreme earth venerate. Even three flower earth venerates would be in danger against hundreds of these battleships at once. Their killing power was astonishing. To their surprise, there were over a hundred thousand of them here. When they saw this, Ju Yunwen and the others' expressions changed. The Violet Thunderclap Empire had clearly come prepared. Destroy them, or they will cause huge damage to the Vermilion Bird Empire, said Ju Yifen quietly. Are you a fool? Why destroy them? Why don't we use them? demanded Long Chen. But the method to use them is a secret of their empire. Only the imperial members of the Violet Thunderclap Empire can use them, and they have spiritual seals on their souls to prevent those secrets from being stolen. We can't even do a soul search, said Zhu Yunwen. The Violet Thunderclap Empire's battleships and war chariots were their instruments of war, and their secrets were tightly locked. Outsiders couldn't use them. After fighting them for so many years, the Vermilion Bird Empire had obtained some of their battleships and war chariots, but those things were just collecting dust. No matter how they studied them, they were unable to replicate or control the chariots. Can such a minor thing cause any difficulty for us? What do you think these two are for? Long Chen smiled and pointed at the wild blade and lightning tower. Lei Linger had left the Lightning Tower and Wild Blade to Long Chen's control. Their souls were shared, so the Lightning Tower and Wild Blade also viewed Long Chen as their master. Long Chen pressed his hand on the Lightning Tower. After that, its light illuminated the battleships and war chariots. A flood of information quickly entered Long Chen's mind. There was a great deal of information including the method for creating them, inscribing the runes, and controlling them. Long Chen's spiritual strength then spread, passing this information to everyone. They were all delighted. The secret that they had been unable to uncover for so many years was dealt with in the blink of an eye by Long Chen. With insiders like the Wild Blade and the Lightning Tower, there was nothing impossible. Long Chen had everyone divide up the battleships and war chariots. The energy source for the battleships and war chariots was the heavenly lightning crystals, so they divided the crystals up as well, enough to power chariots and battleships for a long time. This was the stock that the Violet Thunderclap Empire had been accumulating for millions of years. After dividing up the battleships, war chariots, and heavenly lightning crystals, Everyone sent them into their astral spaces. Long Chen was then guided to another treasury by the Wild Blade and Lightning Tower. However, what they found inside were items that only lightning attribute experts could use. Alas, the Vermilion Bird Empire's experts were all flame element cultivators, so these things were useless to them. Long Chen simply tossed all of them into his own pocket. Even if he couldn't use them, 
he could always sell them for some decent money. Even after emptying the treasuries, Long Chen was worried about being noticed. After all, the mechanisms here were under the control of the four divine weapons which belonged to Lei Linger. Thus, Long Chen had the inside scoop that granted him the ability to embezzle all these treasures. Even if Wang Tebe were to think of checking the treasuries, they could make it so that the rooms in charge of opening the gates were broken, stalling him for a while. They wouldn't suspect that someone had stolen them all. Now what? asked Yu Kingshuan after they were done plundering the treasuries. Originally, Long Chen's plan was to destroy the capital of the Violet Thunderclap Empire. Even with Wang Tebe standing guard over here, Long Chen wasn't discouraged. If they couldn't beat him, they could always run. After all, with so many of them present, Wang Tebe couldn't do anything to them. However, now the plan had changed. Lei Linger was trying to control that immemorial lightning beast and needed time. They couldn't expose themselves yet. Let's take a stroll to the Blue Flame Empire. I heard that their faith divine beast is the blue flame voracious wolf. I feel like we can try it, said Long Chen in read calm of the eight empires. The blue flame empire was the weakest. Just like the heavenly ruler seal empire, they had once been the vermilion bird empire's little brother. Having offered tribute every year and being very subservient, they were actually akin to a subordinate empire. Also, due to their faith divine beast being a flame element beast as well, the two empires got along quite well up until the past few years. Unfortunately, people's hearts were the hardest thing to refine. The Blue Flame Empire had joined forces with the Violet Thunderclap Empire, and a major reason for this was that they wanted to devour the immemorial vermilion bird in order to strengthen their Blue Flame Voracious Wolf. Right now, Lei Linger was taking control of the immemorial lightning beast. If she succeeded, her power would rise to an unbelievable level. If she could succeed, then Huo Linger could also succeed. Although she had no insider divine weapons that could help her go against the blue flame voracious wolf, Huo Linger was still stronger than Lei Linger at the moment. After all, Huo Linger had devoured countless flames, one of them being the rank 8 flame on the heavenly flame rankings, the ice soul divine flame. There were also the Yan Zhu flame, as well as the moon flames and sun flames in the primal chaos space that she was constantly devouring. It could be said that the current Lei Linger was the queen of flames. Although the blue flame voracious wolf was an immemorial divine beast, it was still a heroic spirit just like the immemorial vermilion bird. It didn't possess a body of flesh and blood. Yuo Linger would definitely have a high chance of consuming it. Even if she failed, it wouldn't be that bad. But if she succeeded, then, when Lei Linger and Huo Linger unleash the double dragon destruction, it would truly destroy the heavens. Can we even sneak into the Blue Flame Empire? asked Zhu Yifeng. As long as you follow me, there's no need to think that much. Let's go play around. After Long Chen had everyone get on the flying boat, the wild blade and the lightning tower sent them up the lightning stream. They then saw Wang Tebe sitting in the air again. Wang Tebe once more opened his eyes and looked around suspiciously, but he still didn't notice anything. Not wasting any time, Long Chen quickly brought them to the border. After crossing it, Long Chen had everyone summon the lightning thunderclap battleships. Just like that, they brazenly flew for the Blue Flame Empire. They didn't know what Long Chen was doing with this, but since he didn't say, they didn't ask. They just thickened their faces and followed. The battleships whistled and thundered as they headed straight for the Blue Flame Empire. When they reached the border, Long Chen didn't slow down. He directly barged through their barrier, piercing straight through it. That action shook the entire Blue Flame Empire. The lightning thunderclap battleships proved to be incredibly fast. The Blue Flame Empire's capital wasn't too far from the border, 
so before any countermeasure could be enacted the battleships had already come to a halt directly above the capital long chen then raised his hand and a fiery lotus bloomed with rapid intensity world extermination flame lotus an enormous flame lotus fell to the ground like a meteorite crashing into the heart of the capital's formation long chen had unleashed a thunderous attack right from the start